God would have mercy, John Rambo won't. I'm Derek. I'm Patrick. I'm Jack. And this is Bad Movies. Where's people? people? Cue the Frank Stallone. <laughs> Welcome back to week three of our Rambo Thon. We are watching. It's a lot of Rambo. A lot of murder. <laughs> it's a lot of Rambo. It's a lot of America. <laughs> Is America just never enough? <laughs> never enough of what, Rambo? Never enough of how much we hate veterans. Oh, wait, no, they forgot about that in this movie. <laughs> yeah, this is Rambo 3, dude. We're done with that. <laughs> no one gives a shit about veterans. He doesn't live anymore. in America. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you even watched the other ones or if you, how long it's been since you've seen them, uh, but it's all about how America hates veterans. And then all of a sudden, this one, they're like, we should just arm the Taliban. Yeah. <laughs> this movie does not age well, by the way. No. <laughs> Especially if we fast forward to the end where it says this film is dedicated to all the brave... To the gallant people the gallant of Afghanistan. people of Afghanistan. Oh, there's a whole speech that uh, I've got written in here that uh, uh, Troutman gives that's very like, you know, oh, <laughs> good job, America. Oh, I can't wait to get to that. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's later. I mean, it's a true story, kind of. Yeah. And part of this is true. I mean, it's based on... True events. <laughs> yes. Based on true events, just like Cocaine Bear. <laughs> yeah, loosely based. <laughs> so this movie came out in 1988. It's six years after the first movie, in real time and in movie time. Mm, I like uh, they do that. Also rated Ur. Rated Ur? <laughs> rated Ur for reprehensible violence. Uh, this was directed by Peter McDonald, uh, who nobody's ever heard of. Because he did direct some other movies. Uh, the only things Hit me. of note, or maybe the only things he directed, if I'm remembering correctly, full-on directed are Mo Money. Oh, uh, Wayne's? Yes. I, yes. Yeah. No shit. And this uh, is, uh, Never Ending that... Story, Toi. Oof. And Legionnaire with show favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, okay. God, that's a boring Jean-Claude, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not that good. The exciting part of his career is his AD work, his assistant director stuff. He was AD on The Quest. Yes. Uh, AD and second unit stuff. His second unit on Empire Strikes Back, Labyrinth, Excellent. Batman 89, Tango and Cash, Batman and Robin, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He directed reshoots for Rogue One. So he's a second that is unit huge director. huge AD. Yeah. yeah he's that's, a big that's big AD guy. energy. <laughs> he's got big AD energy. <laughs> and uh, I didn't mention... Well, we did mention the writer on the last episode, right? Because it was James Cameron. Yeah, and, and, and Sylvester. <laughs> Rambo himself wrote his own movie. And then this one, also written by Sylvester Stallone. And welcome back to the show, Sheldon Lettick, Lettick whatever. Nobody here will remember. Say, refresh me. Uh, he wrote Lionheart. So, welcome back to the show. Yeah. he But he also wrote Bloodsport, Double Impact, Legionnaire. Oh, a uh, bunch of JC. Hardcore, all JCVD stuff. Yeah. And he directed Lionheart. And Double Impact and the Hardcore. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to do Double so, Impact. Welcome back to the show. And I, I mentioned off mic, I was going to say off camera, that's not how this works, <laughs> to Jack earlier that I wanted to, I looked into the, some of the stunt performers because I was like, you know, there's a lot of stunts. Like, let's see if there's anybody we recognize, <laughs> you know? There are a lot of fucking stunts um, in this movie. This is action packed. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, this is a stunt reel mm -hmm. with a storyline <laughs> kind of. Um, but the ones I took note of, uh, not because they're extra good stuntmen or anything, but they're people who stuck out to me. Terry Funk, famed yeah. WWF wrestler, Terry Funk, who also did stunts in Rocky Five, which I don't think I knew existed. I thought four was the last one. No, well, five they, is they, where, is like a well, other than Rocky Balboa and Creed and all five that. Five is okay. where he trains, uh, Tommy Gunn and gets betrayed. Okay. I don't think I knew there was a Rocky Five. And then he has to fight basically the guy that is protege. Okay, and one of the other like stunt featured stuntmen was Forey J Smith, who everybody here would recognize, I'm sure. If you've watched Yellowstone, he's on there. He's the the guy that kind of runs the camp 
um, not Cole Hauser. Yeah, not Cole Hauser. The other guy with the mustache. Oh, yeah, the, the Sam Elliott stash. Real, real thin feller. <laughs> yeah. Tom. Yeah, I want to say it's Tom in the show Yellowstone. Yeah, I, be- I believe that's right. But yeah. he's he was this was one of his first things. I mean, oh wow! On this, and then a guy who I only wrote down because his name is awesome, uh, Dickie Beer. Yeah, Dickie Beer. Dickie Beer. <laughs> Dickie Beer. But he did stunts on uh, Last Jedi, Kroll, Indiana Jones two and three, Supergirl. Previous like the episode. Original. Hey, welcome yeah. back. Uh, Dune, the original, Total Recall, the original, and Double Impact. So fuck yeah, big old circle jerk of double a lot impact. Of, say, a lot of double impact in this uh, episode. I'm okay with it. It's a circle right there. Because you know what, <laughs> you know what, Double Impact's about. He wears silk underwears. <laughs> well, I think it's about him being his own. I said clone what or I said, or something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Jean Claude Van Damme retelling of The Prince and the Pauper. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe I've seen that. That's where, yeah, he he plays both himself and separated hey, twins. Was it? Double impact. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Not not double that. team. Team, which is him with, with uh, uh, Dennis Rodman. Rod- Rodman. Yeah. yeah. All I could think of was his hair, and I was exactly. Like, his name's I was not like, hair. colored. No, his name is Yaz. <laughs> oh, in the movie. Oh, okay. I've owned that movie. You know, the bad boy of the Bulls. Yeah, absolutely. Back when all basketball players were bad boys. I watched that fucking Michael Jordan documentary. I'm not a sports. Everybody here knows that. Oh, I know, but The, the, last, the dance last Dance is great documentary. epic. I didn't realize how fucking violent basketball was before everybody turned into a big old gushy twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for the changing the guard for basketball and football where it's like, not my football. It's like, well, they're trying to make sure that they don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Which football is fair, is, but you make enough money. Football is much more <laughs> gladiatorial, though. Basketball yeah. is like, oh, you can throw a punch. Yeah, let him, let him fucking have a th- throw a couple elbows. You know, football is like, hey, he's gonna kill himself as soon as he retires. <laughs> yeah, now, but now with basketball, it's like, oh, hey, 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 your hand brushed his elbow. Uh, so fucking free boring. Dude. <laughs> I don't know. I used to like sports. Now I can't deal with commercials, and that's all it is. Oh yeah, four hour basketball game is like what an uh, an hour of basketball game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a wild guess that the ticket prices have gone up as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm I, sure it's. Been I wouldn't know. I've never even tried. It was yeah. It was it was ridiculous back when I was younger. I'm not even trying now. <laughs> I mean, if now that a Blink-182 concert costs $1,000, I can only imagine what a basketball game costs. I'm going to vomit. I mean, that's mostly a Ticketmaster thing, but yeah, that's a, yeah. that's another podcast. So this movie, <laughs> Rambo 3. Not Rambo <laughs> colon anything, not Rambo first last. This is where you think they're getting the naming right all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay, Rambo 3. So the next one will be Rambo 4, right? No. We talked about a previous episode. It's, it's, it, it's not Rambo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's just... All over the place. First Blood. First Blood. Rambo, colon, First Blood Part 2. Rambo 3. Rambo. Rambo Last Blood. No colon. No colon. No colon. Don't colon. point at me. He's- Dude, don't you point at me when you say no colon. <laughs> He's older. It's been removed. He has a colostomy <laughs> bag now. No colon. <laughs> just, uh, just dumb. This movie at the time it came out was the most expensive film ever made. Ooh. Uh, wow, somewhere between baby. 58 and $63 million, which is like what an indie film costs now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all at the end of the film too. Oh yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it's throughout, but that I mean, they were shooting in uh, Israel and Arizona. Which don't even get me started on the fact they're shooting a movie about jihad in Israel. So Krenna, Krenna, really? uh, yeah. who plays Troutman, even said he goes, "There was a lot of tension when we were filming in Israel because there was a lot of tension in Israel." Well, like he said, it like well, I don't yeah. remember if it was a director or a producer who it was. Somebody in the behind the scenes things I was I was watching, which was mostly just a history lesson about Afghanistan. <laughs> but they mentioned that they had talked to, and I don't can't think of the guy's Sharon. I think the guy that was in charge of Israel at the time. I wouldn't know. Basically, it was like I don't She's know if it was like Sharona. a prime minister or whatever. Yeah, um, they had talked to him about if there would be a conflict with them filming this there, being that you know it's kind of about the other side <laughs> yeah <laughs> whatever but but, but he said not- basically i think it came down to money but he was like there's no problem it's fine there's no conflict you know so sure everybody gets paid everybody's happy i mean <laughs> they did abandon five million dollars worth of sets in mexico i don't know if you heard oh, that no. oh yeah i, I read that one on I, number two it doesn't say no in this one. Oh really like a lot of the desert scenes that they ended up filming in arizona we're going to be in mexico they built sets and i don't know why some one of the the money guys just was like yeah it's not it's not financially they couldn't afford to grease those palms anymore they spent all yeah. that money on the second movie <laughs> stallone's like i will not drink with that guy anymore can't do it <laughs> simpsons right. did that last time we were there <laughs> sam says that at i saw a thing true. recently online that was like that um it's the batman 1989 set 
that they had built that took up tons of acre acreage that still was like abandoned and exists somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we pull our money and buy it? Right. And then I'm, I'm like, so that made me think: Does that highway set from the Matrix uh, Reloaded still exist? No, the military you know, bought that. That you whole don't strip of highway why. they built <laughs> like a few mile long highway in the middle of Nevada or some shit. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sure somebody bought that for like crashing cars. That's why I wanted to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I was going to do with it, asshole? <laughs> I was going to fill it with cars and then take out my falling down fantasies there. <laughs> less racist falling down fantasies. Yes, less racist falling down fantasies. I specified I'm that. I'm here last for time. you. I'm here for you, man. Uh, so, anyway, this movie did not do very well, um, as opposed to the last one. 53.7 million US, which is basically the budget. Mm hmm. Uh, slightly less than without the any sort of without, advertising, yeah, 189 million worldwide. So it did much better, triple the business almost worldwide, but still not good. Not nearly as much as the worldwide business for number two, which was a fucking banger. Part of the budget on this one definitely went to the additional, uh, was it 35 or so deaths on screen from the last one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Pat, Patrick, I don't know, like I said, I don't know when the last time you watched First Blood was. He kills exactly zero people in that movie by design. Oh, no shit. The he's, first one because they're 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 cops and stuff. So he's trying to just he harms them because he's trying to get them to leave him alone. Yeah. He doesn't kill anybody. He shortened every one of their lifespans, but <laughs> one he didn't guy kill dies, them. But it was kind of his own fault. So he falls out of a helicopter. <laughs> Isn't it always you got to wear a seatbelt in a helicopter <laughs> yeah, when well, you're and sniping he had John. Seat belt on and took it off, and they made sure to show that. And I think that was on purpose. But we've talked about that a couple times now. <laughs> the second movie, he kills about seventy four people. This one, he kills. From what I found, the quote I found was no less than 115 <laughs> on screen kills. So, minimum 115 on screen. You know, you got the variable which ones could have actually survived the attack. Well, and also, so, like, sometimes he explodes something. You're like, well, we don't know how many people were in exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. well, and like wiping out, you know, like an entire base camp or village. You know? uh -huh. I mean, they made sure when, you know, the chopper was coming in and the Russians were doing it, you know, they, they were on it. You knew those fuckers were dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then when, you it's know. It's 88. You got to see dead Russians. No, no, you guys see dead Af uh, Afghanistan is what he's saying, that the Russian oh. soldiers were killing well, we the, sure that the, kill the, right, the, the sure proud the horse soldiers. Killed. Okay. Oh, yeah, because they're allowed to be like yeah. that way. Yeah, we don't exactly. want John Rambo to be too brutal it's unless they're... good you know. and evil. It's about what side benefits us more. <laughs> so this non-gratuitously violent movie starts with a blood-red credit of just Rambo 3 in, like, like it's like fucking drag me to hell red like I <laughs> they think oh. they know what the audience wants now yeah right they, they yeah. kind of figured it out for number two now they're like all right you want more of that and it's like not really a little character development would have been nice you want to complain <laughs> about something all right we're gonna double down i don't yeah. think the kid i don't think the audience wants plots guys i think we just give That's them you know what explosions. I about it i was thinking throughout the movie like yeah Oh, you could sum this. I could plot do this in a video seconds. game. Maybe that's where I got. Well, it. according to the behind the scenes again, uh, Sylvester Sloan has always been very concerned about the conflict that was happening in Afghanistan. Of course, he has. So <laughs> it started in has. 1979, and this movie came out in 1988. So he was like, "I'm very concerned about this, and we should put Rambo there." <laughs> PR was you know so much easier need? back in the day. Where they get a load of me? You know who could solve this problem? Sylvester, I mean, Rock, I mean, uh, John Ram. Cobra, no. Uh, it's Cash. No, I'm Tango. No, wait, wait, I am the law. No, it hasn't happened yet. I always forget which one he is, Tango or Cash. Uh, you broke that jaw? The one you can't understand. Tango. <laughs> um, so at the beginning, and it's, it's kind of whatever it weaves through, but we see Troutman again. Uh, Krenna, Richard Krenna. Richard Krenna. With... Kurtwood Smith, who Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I recognized immediately, but he oh. had sunglasses and stuff. And I was, at first, I was like, maybe it's not. It but took you, me a giga oh, second. From a distance, I was like, that weird alien head I know, can only be Kurtwood. <laughs> I know that forehead. <laughs> I know it. He's in this movie for a fucking cup of coffee and a half, sadly. Yeah, no. he Basically, I think he was just hanging out with Richard Crenna. And well, they were was like, this, <laughs> is this before or after RoboCop? This is after. Well, yes, after. this is after, this is after RoboCop. RoboCop. RoboCop was 84. Yeah, the first one, yeah. yeah. Before any of this, I'm like, Kurt Foreman. 
No, that's not yeah. right. Red, <laughs> Red Foreman. Red, Red Foreman, yeah. <laughs> I still say Red Foreman sometimes. I mean, I think if, I, if it's somebody I don't, was. if it's somebody I'm watching with that wouldn't just instantly know Kurt Wood Smith, I'm like, oh shit, Red Foreman. Because yeah. well, you'll fucking understand that. <laughs> On a previous episode recently, something I was editing, I, I remember I was like, uh, with fucking Red Foreman, and you just look <laughs> like Kurt Wood Smith. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that guy. I can't think guy. of the name. I'm going to tell you the first name that comes to mind. I mean, what did we talk about the last episode was uh, uh, Victor Maitland. Yeah. Victor Maitland from uh, Beverly Hills Cop, because yeah. the guy had some white name. And he That's was how I know him. <laughs> all right, all right. In Beverly Hills Cop, describe who he is to me. Victor Maitland. He's the guy. That's got, <laughs> he's the bad guy in the first one. The main bad yeah. guy. He's got the like mole or whatever pimple on his uh, forehead. Yeah, him. he's the main bad guy for the first yeah. movie. And he's got a shitty Russian accent. Uh, in we, Rambo get, too. we get the treat of having Kurt Wood Smith here for, like you said, all of eight seconds. Mm-hmm. I mean, he other than having to be on two different sets, he could have filmed all of his scenes in <laughs> exactly. four minutes. I said last episode that his shoulders look like boulders. They got bigger. Oh, Rambo's. This, I was Rambos. like, Kurt Wood Smith. <laughs> oh, Kurt <laughs> I was wondering that, too. I was like, was I staring at his shoulders? Dude, that would be terrifying to see suit. that guy all rocked up. His shoulders got that all would... ripped from beating his fucking kid. Can you imagine it? just Kurt Wood Smith <laughs> takes it off his shirt and he's just rocked? He's like, oh, I gotta go. Like fucking J. Jonah Jameson getting all yeah. rocked for that Justice League movie. Dude, fucking J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons got fucking chiseled for, for an older feller. Uh, he's playing a character named Griggs, but again, it doesn't really matter. So... They're trying to recruit uh, Rambo, and they go to... I was so confused at the beginning. I'm like, okay, so Rambo's hanging out with some monks. Well, first but it he's starts like with... putting on his headband. And so, well, he's got monks sitting around. Oh, him, the little while kids. He's like putting on his headband and like, you know, getting all greased up and shit. Flexi. By the way, the red headband, bright yes, red. Yes, finally the bright, bright red headband. And then he like walks into this thing, and I my first note for it was like, these monks have a fight club? Yeah. <laughs> that so well, confused. that's why they took the uh, the vow of uh, silence. You can't talk about it. Yeah. yeah. It's fight club. So like, <laughs> all right, everyone collectively, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, I was late for the beginning of fight club, but all I can tell you is fight club is great. You guys heard about this fight club? <laughs> I don't think I missed anything at the beginning of this meeting, but dude, I've been telling everybody I know about fight club. I got a whole bunch of people coming up. What? What, what did I miss? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> also, like, how do these monks like him? Because in two, that village that he just levels, <laughs> was it like had a bunch of monks in it? Yeah, but they're about forgiveness. These are different monks. They're battling. They're a uh, uh, Tibetan. Well, they're no, <laughs> they're just Shaolin. They're, <laughs> Shaolin. They're a, a different gang of monks. You know, oh, they're yeah. they're rivals. Like you call them battle monks. So <laughs> battle monks. <laughs> they are battle monks. We might call them a war priest. But he has this like <laughs> stick fight, which I guess just gives you some action because you have to wait another like forty seven minutes for any action. Oh, in this you movie. you get it gives you action, but it gives you a beef jerky colored shirtless <laughs> rocked up sly like dude this guy is the biggest i've ever seen I and mean, i think this is not this is inarguably when he was dick- taking steroids <laughs> guys fucking oh, yeah. i was about to say like got muscles in places you shouldn't have muscles his armpits were flexing i didn't see numbers for three but i i was lo- trying to find out like how heavy he got from like how because he got more muscle he ain't obviously. heavy man he's your well, brother <laughs> <laughs> That's just the song. He's oh, my sorry. Uh, in the first one, he was like 180 pounds, but he was like felt felt in shape. Yeah. The second one, I think it said he was 195, and that's just like muscle. This one, he's got to be over 200. Oh, yeah. But it's just more fucking muscle. If I had to guess. And I, I mean, I'm I, probably about 200 pounds of muscle, too, to be honest. Oh, I'm pure muscle. The problem I, is I'm 390. No, I'm not. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm 200 pounds of pure muscle. Don't you weigh like 245? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that was something I heard many moons ago. It was like, I'm 160 pounds of pure cut muscle. The problem is I weigh 280 pounds. <laughs> it's a solid joke. You just got to um, mathematically uh, change it up. <laughs> Troutman and uh, Kurtwood Smith come into this little fight club, and they're trying to get his attention. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's just an intro just of, like, here's first. Rambo fighting. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's basically doing it to earn money to give to the monks who are letting him live with them. He's doing it so we can work. look at him. Yeah. I mean, he's doing <laughs> it because they like they wanted to have an action scene at the beginning of the movie, because that's how you start a fucking action uh-huh. movie. Uh-huh. Oh, well, yeah. But they had to show that he was living peacefully. He's only doing the fighting <laughs> because, you know, it's in my blood. Now, once again, I'm shaped. You understand that one? I'm sh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in his bug. Uh, <laughs> once again, I'm shaped more by hot shots than I am by Rambo. So when he's wrapping these <laughs> linens on his fist, yeah. I'm expecting him to dip it in caramel and sprinkles. <laughs> and, go, and I was like, no, no, wrong fucking movie, man. No, that's Kickboxer. You, I mean, know the fun- you know the funniest part about that, though? Well, not the funniest, but Richard Crenna 
is in both. Oh, I know. I he's, love it. Like he's Richard just Krenna like Troutman plays okay. his own the parody of himself, yeah. <laughs> the parody <laughs> version of his own character. Yep. I wish somebody's going to play me. It's got to be me. <laughs> Nobody understands it but me. So he he wins this fight and he leaves and um they're trying to get his attention and he doesn't hear him or he ignores him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just the next shot is this monk temple that he's living at. I guess it's called a monastery. <laughs> <laughs> but no, monk temple Monk good. temple sounds ignorant. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this thing has like 50 trillion stairs and all I could think of was Ace Ventura when nature calls. <laughs> Everyone loves a slinky. <laughs> oh, so close. Can we try it again? Which Fine. Sure Let's do everything you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're not here to talk about good movies. Go on. <laughs> I don't know how, I, I don't know how that movie holds up in 2023. Oh, I, I still think it's funny. Yeah. Yep. I haven't seen it. Since I was in my mid-teens, I've maybe seen the, I've seen Pet Detective. Maybe I'm like rose-colored lensing it, but I still enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely seen Pet Detective <laughs> in my in the last ten years. Yeah, I don't think I've seen When Nature Calls since I was a teenager. And I'm just like, there's a lot of, you know, Bumblebee tuna. Like, so like it's just, <laughs> it's kind of funny. See, but it's also still getting him. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just, you didn't even do a good uh, impersonation. It's still getting him. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. Your balls are showing. <laughs> Your balls are showing. <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> yeah. Earthquake test. Earthquake test. <laughs> He's good, but with my help, <laughs> he can be, be the oh, best. Oh man, I went to a video store up in Colorado called the Archive. It's owned by Vinegar Syndrome. Ah, see, I said it even though we didn't watch one of their movies. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like when Got I tr- shout these guys out that aren't paying us. <laughs> and they had all the <laughs> You've talked about shit in the past. I talked about a lot of shit in the past. <laughs> but they had all these things in there, and there was like stuff like paintings people had done and stuff that were related to movies that they were like selling that people had you know sold there or whatever. NFTs. There was definitely one. No, like actual <laughs> things. No, no, there real was things. Definitely <laughs> one though that was someone had done a like an on canvas like stretched canvas painting of. Um, Jim Carrey escaping from the rhino's asshole. Oh wow! And I was yeah. like, God, I want that. I thought of that. Good. I thought of that part of the movie when uh, Sly Stone is in his tank later. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hot in these rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the little controls. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just a curious little rhino. <laughs> So he's like hammering some shitty metal, trying to help him rebuild this. I don't know. It looks like useless labor. I yeah. like how they started off with the United States of America, Thailand. Oh, dude. I saw that. D- that there's a door in the, like Kurtwood Smith walks out of the door with Krenna. But before that, it says United States of America, Thailand. I was like, make up your fucking minds. It's clearly the embassy. <laughs> Okay. It's got to be like, the. I missed this. What the <laughs> fuck are you guys talking I just about? had a great laugh about it because, like, yeah, it focused on the door and it said straight straight to it. I was like, man, make up your fucking yeah. melons. <laughs> sure, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not America. I don't believe you. <laughs> they did shoot some in Thailand, so it probably was Thailand. Yeah. Well, it was primarily shot in Israel and Arizona. But um, so, yeah, they're trying to recruit him. To go and help give missiles. Well, they they walk up all these stairs and they bitch. And Kurtwood Smith <laughs> does bitch about it. But they're trying to recruit him to help get these stinger missiles to the rebels to the Mujahideen. One, one section, I one think village so. on the border. Because they're doing, they're they're gaining ground since America's been giving them stinger missiles, which are anti aircraft. They've been gaining ground, but there's this one section. Yeah, and Running you notice Ruski. that they give they give Rambo like these awful fucking pictures. Like, hey, check, take a look at these, and it's this kid just cast up and burnt. And yeah, like you got to put that one on top, dude. Was they're trying to make him feel bad? They're like, look how evil they are. Look, you got to go yeah. stop them. Oh, I know what they're doing. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> uh, real quick callback though, it means nothing, but I was amazed by the crowd work like during the stick fight these oh. people are are these extras are acting extra in a beautiful <laughs> way well because you know what they did i'm making this up completely is go on they actually went to some fucking thailand stick fight fight. Clubs, <laughs> and they were like hey guys just keep doing this well, we're going to put the either like, that or they're just background actors from Street Fighter 2 and they always just go ah, <laughs> they're, ah, stu- they're ah. stuck on that animation. <laughs> no, I just I kept Murder looking I was like, man, girl. these I was like these background actors are fucking into this. Oh yeah, that girl that from Taming the T-Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That one Called day in Thailand someone. though, you know what I mean? That <laughs> seems to work. But they're trying to get him to go and help and he's like, "Oh, well, this isn't my war." And, and he's like, "Well, we can He's right. right. Yeah. He's like, right. But basically, America at the time, which they do address in this too, <laughs> was trying to pull a, a Russia in Vietnam. Uh-huh. Because we lost Vietnam because the Russians were helping the VC. That's one of the many reasons. 
And they so they're trying to stop the Russians from going into Afghanistan by helping the rebels. Uh huh. Which turned around real well for us. Which this is all true. Um, and so yeah, my war is over. Yeah, uh, yeah and it's like, it's when you get all the tough guy lines, right? I like no, no. I like the fact that like they're like John, and like he doesn't respond. And they're like John Rambo, and then he's like, huh? What are you guys <laughs> doing like, there's here? There's another John around this they fucking, fucking part. Exactly. Like how <laughs> many Johns are there? Like I in thought fucking... you were talking to that monk over there. <laughs> I thought you were talking to uh, John the monk. John <laughs> Joe, John Gene, John Johnny, <laughs> Joey Joe Joe Junior Shabadoo. There's no John in there. That has no meaning here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're telling him like, you know, you're a full blooded combat soldier. Uh, not anymore, I'm not. Uh, it, and it's gonna end for me sometime. I'm Turns a roofer. Does, nope. does this go into the fucking <laughs> statue analogy? No, uh, no, 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 not no, here. That, that's later. No, okay. I was like, wait, I don't is know. it? Oh Doesn't yeah, really it matter. is. Because he walks away. <laughs> he walks matter, away. Man. He's like, fuck no, I'm not doing that. And then. Krenna comes in. And he's like, "Here's a statue story that's fucking stupid. I dumb. found this perfect rock, and then you know, chiseled How'd away. How'd you make at that it, beautiful like, statue? You created something. I didn't create anything. I just got rid of the, rid of the rough edges. And that's all yeah, you need. To which do. I guess is like a. I, that's I what feel we like I remember hearing that was like a maybe something Da Vinci or somebody would say. Yeah. Like, oh, the, the the sculpture was already there. I just helped it come out. But it's not true. This man was not born a killer, and you guys just pointed yeah. him in a direction. We just polished you up a little bit. You were born a mass murderer. No, you fucked this dude up. <laughs> Killing mentally. for your country is different than mass murder. I mean. <laughs> that's true. I mean, unfortunately, most mass murderers have some sort of reason. They can all make sense if you think about it. But, <laughs> I'd <yeah>. like to not. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them. I mean, I guess they all make sense to them. Exactly. I mean, the dog told me to. I mean, you know, <laughs> killing in the name of, you know, for the greater good or whatever you want to go the with. The greater and good. The greater good. So we have a thoughtful montage after he tells them no, where it's just a bunch of shots of Sylvester Stallone thinking. <laughs> and it reminded me of the the South Park episode with British Petroleum when he's doing the commercials about like I'm sorry I'm sorry whatever I'm sorry. because he's just like sitting at a sunset with his knee up like fucking staring out and then he's like on another one where he's like on a hammock reading a book or something and I was like what the fuck is this <laughs> that's Stallone he's like hey put this that's in. the life he's living other than stick fighting for money you know Look. some extra spare money or whatever the fuck it was look how much depth I have. <laughs> I'm a deep thinker. I don't just murder. And now, deep thoughts with John Rambo. I think he showed up drunk for this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now I got a popsicle's mouth a little more numb than usual. Guys, that's just a just an act I'm putting on. It's not <laughs> Actually, I talk like this when no one's looking. <laughs> oh, bother. I've got to do Rubbish. a Rambo movie. <laughs> so Troutman's going is, yeah. is what's really happening. He's like, I'm already going. I just want you to go with me because you're the fucking best of the best. I would want him to go with me as well. Like, you're a bad motherfucker, John Rambo. Please yeah. help me out because <laughs> I'm old man comes. Troutman. <laughs> I've never I've, had to kill like fifty guys in the span of ten I, minutes. I can take ten tops. <laughs> you escaped a Vietnamese village with nothing but a magical bow that you kept in your ass and a knife. <laughs> All right, like, bringing up the bow. Yeah, it, okay, it comes up in this one, and I do have a note about I, it. Well, see, that's Where the what fuck I'm did he get it from? He does. It around. does break down into I a know, very but, small sheath, so maybe he's got it strapped to his leg. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's the sheath for his knife in the long run. He's yeah, I don't know, because there was a long out, period boom, of time bro. where he was shirtless with just his pants and his knife. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he's putting together this fucking bow. And I was like... I mean, I, I'm trying to defend it a little kept bit. He in his asshole? Yeah. His prison wallet? I just keep it up there for safety. Uh, it's the only place like the VC won't check. Stratego. If I ever get taken back to that fucking prison camp from number two, I'm ready to <laughs> stop those dudes. Nobody's taking me in the showers, guys. That would take me alive. <laughs> Wait, give me time to put my bow together. Uh, so Troutman gets captured. They're like, like instantly. Yeah, they're out doing something at nighttime, trying to meet somebody, and they get a, a, <laughs> ambushed by a helicopter. Yeah, which seems <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> they never heard and it. It's coming. one of those fucking Coming battle choppers. Just flies over the top of a plateau and is like, "We're here." <laughs> yeah, gunship. It's one of those. Yeah, battle choppers. Gunship's probably more battle correct. chopper. I like battle <laughs> chopper better. Fuck your gun. Let's call them warbirds, man. They're, they're very Klingon. <laughs> and this is Kurtwood Smith's second appearance, well, technically third, I guess. And he comes back. He's like, "Oh, by the way, Rambo, <laughs> we fucked I up. Can I do a red foreman?" Kurt yeah, Smith. dumbass. <laughs> dumbass. 
Hey, hey Rambo, tr- you dumbass. <laughs> hey, Rambo, Troutman was being a real dumbass. <laughs> him and his dumbass friends got captured by those dumbass <laughs> Russians. <laughs> Dumbass. Went wrong because you didn't come and help him, you fucking dumbass. Yeah, he he lays it on kind of thick. Like I'm not trying to say it's your fault, but you fucked up. Uh, yeah, something went wrong because you weren't there, and uh, <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it. So bye. If I was in that situation, I would have handled that situation. <laughs> <laughs> he reverse psychology him hard. He's like, well, there's nothing you can do about it. Is there something I can do about yeah, it? And he gives him the Mission Impossible thing where he's like, well, books. if you get caught. Then we will disavow any knowledge of your existence and Great. whatever. And then here we get a little snap. I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Just like fucking always, you assholes. <laughs> oh, uh, so he goes into this. He goes there now. He's in this marketplace. Um, <laughs> with a guy smoking a cigarette, the, the, the way he smokes a cigarette, only a trader would smoke it this way. <laughs> like, normal people don't smoke this hand gesture. This is like... Uh, I'm gonna rat on you the second you turn your back. You see how I'm holding my cigarette? I don't know. If it's, I don't know if it's traitor or spy. no. It was like under, like this. Oh, was he doing that? Yeah, he had like an spy. under. And it's like I don't trust you by the way you're holding your cigarette. Let's in here, Frenchie. <laughs> um, the actor he meets up with here, there. or the character he meets up with, meets. Should about a hundred. Yep. Wait, the contact or the yeah, the, the guy? contact, the character he meets up with. Uh, is, the character's name is Musa Musa Gianni. He's, I have only mentioned him because he is like he apparently he's a famous Israeli actor. Fair. He they use a lot of a lot of local actors for this. So um, the guy's name is like Sasson Gabay. Okay, something like that. Sounds very French, but so does Gal Gadot. But it's actually Gal Gadot, right? She's yep. Israeli. So um, he's yeah, the, he's Gadot. the Israeli John Bernthal. That's all I could think. Oh of that yeah, <laughs> I, I see that the whole time. I was like. Yeah, it's just John Bernthal. I like oh, it. Oh, that's that's what I was thinking with uh, Stallone in the first you know fight scene, the stick fight, like Momoa. Young, exactly. Thank you, Jason Momoa. Yeah. 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 I, I had to, I had to look. It. I thought for a, a split second, but he's not big enough. That it was the guy from Lionheart. Um, uh, that he fights at the end. I can't think what they call. Oh, him. Attila. Uh, yeah, Attila. Yeah, the big dude. From because Lionheart. in right, when right, he's right, in right. Quest, his name is Genghis. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's yeah, they got a type. But yeah, so, it's, uh, so jo- it's really is. John Bernthal. You notice where they're meeting up, by the way, where he meets this oh, Israeli actor. Yes, wait, a, a prosthetic shop, dude. No, that, that's what I loved. He's like, still he's like, impossible. are you looking to? <laughs> are you looking for arms? We have lots of arms. And then he walks into the next scene, and you see the legs. I was like, they have arms and arms legs at that legs, store. Man. I mean, there was crutches too, but I'm not. I don't want to focus on that. The arms and legs thing was hilarious. Can you help he's my a, daughter? He's, right? he's an arm dealer. He's an arm dealer. <laughs> Can you help my daughter? It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need three things to get us out of this prison. I need a battery. <laughs> <laughs> I need a battery. I need one of those control panels, and I need that guy's leg. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I, <laughs> I like this actor, this Israeli actor, but he keeps fucking saying over and over, like no matter what, because he's like, you don't look at a soldier. He's Are like, well, tourists? I'm not. You look at tourists. I'm not a tourist. They just staring him down, and this guy's just like, all right, dude, I, I'm not responsible. No yeah. matter what, I'm not responsible. Yeah, exactly. well, he don't says it so many you times. You don't know war, <laughs> and he says it so many times. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. We get it. You're not. You know who John Rambo is. They don't want you to forget that line, so he, when he brings it back at the very end of the movie, because they're like, "Hey, in 115 deaths, you might forget what this guy." I was said. gonna say you insult my intelligence, though, to not think that you need to beat it in my head that much. Uh, this yeah, this movie's the, kind of an insult to it people's was, intelligence. It was That's the whole fair. like, uh, "No, res- I expect, I accept no responsibility. Don't blame me if you die." And he's like, "Yeah, sounds familiar." Yeah. So you're about to say no respect. And I was like, "He gets no respect." Uh, I get no respect. I get no respect. I try to mix them. I can't do it. Yeah, it's, it's a tough <laughs> movie. <laughs> hey, I get no respect. Uh. So I like what he's going through his shit though, and he's like, "Yeah, here's my dope ass knife and this and that." And <laughs> hey, take like, my knife. And, and fucking uh, John Bernthal's like, "What's this <laughs> thing?" And it's like his his glow stick, and he's like, "It turns blue." It's or he's blue. like, "It's, it's a, a blue, blue light." light. Blue light. Uh, what What's does it, it do? do? It turns blue. Yep, I thought this was. Good. I was like, I hope this is the Chekhov's gun of this situation. And it is in a way, but it really to a de- means to, to one kill. Yeah, not to a plot, not to an escape, to one kill. Yeah, but it does come back, and least. I like it. I'm happy for it. And so we meet uh, Colonel Z- Zisan, whatever the Russian the Russian Colonel, the better who's, Russian accent, who's played by Mark Dejong, a French actor. Yeah, and this guy, <laughs> French David Harbor. 
The whole movie, yeah, I was like, this guy looks like fucking David Harbour. I don't know David Harbour. Uh, uh, Stranger, Stranger Things, things. the sheriff. Oh, oh, uh, Hopper. Hellboy, yeah. Yeah, yeah Hopper. okay. Hellboy. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, he was in the Violent reboot. Night. Oh, Hellboy. They say yes, Hellboy. Violent Night. Yes. <laughs> yeah, David. I, like, every time they had a close up on his face, I was like, if they made this movie right now, that could just that be. That would just, be him. It, yeah. It's like him in uh, Black Widow. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. What the fuck is his. Uh... Uh, the, the Red. It's not Red Menace. No, Something it's like not. That. But Red. it doesn't matter. It's but the Russian Captain America, mm-hmm. Captain Russia, <laughs> Captain Russia, Comrade oh, Russia, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Comrade, <laughs> Captain Comrade, Comrade oh. Soviet. Uh, anyway, that's all. So those were my two for this movie, where I was like, "That's John Bernthal. That's David Harbour." <laughs> I'll tell you something. I wish because now we get to introduce his right hand. I guess the big Russian of the movie. Yeah, and this is uh, a big fucker. Yes, but <laughs> I wish because we never really saw. Uh, uh, Mustafa. Yeah, the guy who played Mustafa. The whatever. guy who played Mustafa. We never saw his death in the first one, so I thought, man, what a great opportunity to bring him back, like scarred up a little bit. Didn't, we, didn't he shoot down his helicopter? No, he, he threw him out. Body. Oh yeah, he did just throw. He him He kick flipped him. Remember, yeah. he treated him like a that's skateboard. Right, that's right. And they're trying to interrogate. So fake David Harbor here is trying to interrogate uh, Krenna, who is very good at not talking yeah like they don't torture him nearly as much as they tortured rambo i laughed at two, this like but... all right so rambo <laughs> yeah. gets pig shit beaten shocked <laughs> hot knife across the face this guy gets strung up by his arms like oh my sockets are really uncomfortable well i love it because they do string him up and he's like okay i'll talk i'll talk <laughs> where are the <laughs> rockets down. yeah well if, first before they string him up they are asking where are the rockets he's just like mm. What rockets? I've never heard of a rocket. What the fuck's a rocket? <laughs> I think they're in Houston. They play professional basketball. <laughs> uh, oh, and he does get to talk a little bit of shit here because he's telling the guy, like, well, you know, we had our Vietnam. Now it's your turn, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Yep. Like, <laughs> this is gonna, that that oh, statement's going to age sorry. very well. Yeah, this is the speech that ages really well. <clears throat> Troutman tells this guy, and I, had to st- I went back and wrote it down word for word. If you'd studied your history... You'd know that these people have never given up to anyone. They would rather die than be slaves to anyone. You listening, America? Yeah. Are you hearing yourself, <laughs> Richard? You hearing? You're hearing yourself. Uh, Fourteen years later, America. <laughs> Good God! It's oh, sorry, don't they reiterate that with uh, Rambo and the guy yeah, talking? They, they, and they, the, like, the, oh, the guy, the guy that's like the leader of the the rebels, the, the, the contact, Mu- Mujahideen. I mean, yeah, um, not the contact, the the head. No, guy like with, the like, horse the gray warriors and stuff. That later on in the movie, the guy with like the gray mustache and the, the oh, the he just shows up and talks. And yeah, he's like the leader of the. It's like, a holy warriors. war. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he's actually based on a real person and so a lot of the stuff he said is like direct quotes i guess from what oh because that's said. some good shit I, I can't wait to get there yeah and it was and but he mentions in that that like they tried you know the the mongols tried like Genghis khan tried to take over the british tried to take over uh the romans tried to take over and every time they fought people off i'm like oh they, they, they talk about the contact because and... the contact says something as well yeah he not, goes not, Genghis. no not john it? bernthal but like the leader <laughs> of yeah the, so before we meet that right. guy john bernthal says it too though. okay yeah. he's says uh, Attila tried to conquer this. That, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Then Alexander that, the Great that guy tried later to conquer said some it. other stuff that's yeah. similar. Yeah, there was a whole he even teaches of, a he's prayer. Like, he's like, so what's what's that make you think of us? Your people who don't take shit from anybody or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. He's like pretty much. Uh, yeah, it was like make God deliver us from the venom of the cobra or something. Save yeah. us from save us from being stabbed. Yeah. Don't let us get bitten and keep anybody from Afghanistan away from shit us. From no one. <laughs> <Bada bing. laughs> Zoom. Uh, bada boom. So they have like a nice like, I it didn't I couldn't tell this was a real like landscape shot when he's like, "What do you think of my country?" When they get up oh, the top I know of which hill, exactly which one you're talking about. Matte painting, uh huh. You know, like the old like when they would do that in, in older movies where they would actually just do like a painting and kind of put it in the distance. That could like, be real Arizona. It, it, it could be real I, Israel. <laughs> yeah, it could be one. It just it looked very weirdly like, and I was like, if it's a matte painting, yeah. it's a good one. Have you ever but, seen the Grand Canyon in person? Yeah. It looks very. It doesn't look real. Painting esque. Yeah. So that's <laughs> kind of what I chalk that up to. Uh, it. I did have a note, but it didn't end up coming to fruition. But it was kind of like uh, uh, John Bernthal here tells him the tale of the five lions or whatever, where mm-hmm. like they needed five hundred soldiers and the king sent five soldiers and they ended up winning. And then like the next scene when he's meeting with the um, the rebel warriors, he's like. 
uh, I, I don't need a whole team. I just need two guys to get me through the minefield and two guys to help me with the extraction. And I was like, that's the five lions. There's the five lions. But hey, by the way, that, so. give me that five lions movie with Gerard Butler. <laughs> Sounds like a different version of Gerard 300. Gerard Butler just playing a fucking Afghani guy, just <laughs> still doing his Scottish accent. This is Afghanistan! <laughs> And then he just kicks George W. Bush into a pit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'll give you so much money to be able to see that shit. Are you kidding me? Mission accomplished. Uh, this aggression will not stand. <laughs> yes, it will. Wrong Bush, but I can kick him in there, too. Either way, dude. Kick them both in. Well, I think both Bushes were involved in Afghanistan, to be honest. Well, that's why we went back. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not. I mean, no, no. No, that was Iraq. It Saudi came from Arabia. my father. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it start with Saudi Arabia and then well, but uh, the baby Bush was trying to finish what Papa Bush started. I'm gonna go reinvade Iraq for you. That's great, son. <laughs> that guy we put into power over there, he's not acting right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what this is too. Like the the Bush family was friends with the Bin Ladens. Like there was a yeah. We gave them weapons and trained them. Well, and things all that they this, didn't have. All of this stuff in this movie, that like the true parts of it, we then just turned around. We were like, okay, you won, bye, and yep. left them in a state of anarchy, and that left room for people like Osama bin Laden and stuff who were from other countries mm -hmm. to move in and take over, and like they welcomed the Taliban when it first formed because they were oh, like, yeah. oh, shit, government. like somebody to Order. Or Those other fuckers just shit. left us out of nowhere. Yeah, just, exactly, because <laughs> we're just ass fucks. It's kind of what we do. Speaking of ass fucking, he tells him the missiles are close. <laughs> How close? In your ass. In your ass. Way up in your <laughs> Love it. Um, and so they find out that Rambo is coming. Like some guy comes in and he's he's speaking uh, another language. It's the guy who smoked the cigarette. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Who also doesn't get killed. He gets. Yeah. Rambo right, is the only guy Rambo misses with a knife. And I thought, like, okay, he's gonna get he's gonna get his later. That's that's coming. Like, oh, he missed him with the knife. He's gonna snap his neck with his bare hands instead. No, you know what? No, he got it from lung cancer. He shouldn't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> you know what? That's a good PSA. Turkish blend shit. Either. Yeah, this guy he died the worst death. <laughs> I like my American blend Southern Korean cigarettes that I smoke. <laughs> ah, Turkish delight. Um, but yeah, the guy does. He's speaking another language, but all he all you hear is. And forgive me, I just don't want to say the wrong one. I don't. <laughs> yada yada yada, Rambo. <laughs> yeah. Yada yada I'm yada. Just I don't want John Rambo. Like some wah, 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 wah. Yeah. That's what I'm not trying not to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he's doing the Charlie don't, Brown. I don't know if it's he's Arabic. doing Charlie Brown's parents. I don't know if they have their own. I'm not. I'm not I don't know. I'm yeah, not. That, I don't know I'm language. Not that knowledge that that versed in world culture because I'm an American. Yeah. I can't afford to travel. <laughs> they speak. I got in an a American education, and I'm from Arizona, so I got an Arizona <laughs> education. I really don't know much about anything. Yeah, we're 51st out of the 48 states. I could definitely count to 11 because I run out of fingers I know there's one more <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> oh yeah they pick out the name Rambo or we pick out the name Rambo as an audience I guess so this is where he does meet up with the, the Mujahideen which were a real organization they're they believe in holy war, jihad, and stuff, and that's what they were doing. They were waging war against the Russians who were trying to invade their country. Yeah. So in this case, they were the good guys, and we were giving them weapons. And then it turned out when they didn't like us for abandoning them, they became the bad guys. Yep. Well, to us. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, <laughs> to what them, they, yeah they, that's what I mean. That's what I mean, from a Rambo point of view. That's what we were told. I mean. <laughs> Speaking Ramboically, uh, which is a real thing. Yes. <laughs> Ramboically? But this is when we get the guys, he's got all the great things that, you, like you said, just probably taken from something. Yeah, and I, and I wish I could remember the name of the guy, because I'd heard the name before when Stallone mentioned it in the documentary thing that was on. Uh, I, it was somebody I had heard of who was like okay. a famous leader, but I just don't. Remember, I was setting up the the equipment when it happened, so I wasn't taking notes. <laughs> yeah, um, I do like fat? though they meet this little kid who's the one that ends up helping him. I don't know, I don't think it was him, but um, this little kid that ends up well, I say helping this little kid that ends up hindering the entire <laughs> he, mission. He's there. Uh, he's like asking him all these questions. I love it though because he's like, "Where are you from?" And he's like, "Arizona." And I'm like, "How far is that?" How he's many like, days? We're, walk? we're here right now. We're already in it. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking on it, kid. <laughs> Walking in sunshine. Not on it, though. <laughs> Unless you take your shoes off. Oh, yeah. You don't want to do that. I don't recommend that. And the kid asked him about his pendant that he's wearing, which is from Co. from the second movie. He asked about the knife. He's like, can I see that knife? Can I can have I, it? Can I have it? <laughs> no. Uh, what that necklace? He's like, it's, it, it's good luck. Well, can I have your necklace? Like, no, I need good luck, yeah, you little I shit. I need luck. You go away. Yeah. 
And I mean, they they do. Uh, Someone John... like you is gonna get me killed if I don't fucking pay. <laughs> if I'm attention. not careful. What John Bernthal does point out, like this kid is like he's a he's a warrior. He's had to fight. He's tough. His family's been killed. His brother's Russians been killed, killed his family. His, yeah, everything like. But he doesn't turn out to be that tough, at least that we see. No. Because he just fucks everything up. It's kind of dumb. Um, oh, hey, I got one more lookalike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the scene doesn't really matter. It's when they're they're playing that horse game. Billy where... Zane? Oh, dude. No. Fucking I didn't think Goat Polo? I loved Goat Polo. <laughs> goat I Polo. I fucking loved Goat Polo. As soon as it I wrote, started, I, I was wrote just down like... Sheep Ball because I couldn't think of a good name. <laughs> <laughs> I like Goat Polo. I think the only reason they show this is to show that Rambo can ride a horse well because he has to do it later. He does it very well. Because he doesn't like... even get to score a fucking goat point. Right, but like, I thought that they <laughs> fucking let me down on that. But like, Sly Stallone is actually riding this horse, and when yeah. he's on the side picking up the goat ball, like he is sideways <laughs> on that fucking horse. Yeah, and it looks great. The goat ball. I guess if that's the term we're gonna use, oh yeah, you know, lamb fries doesn't work. I don't know how to fucking <laughs> go about it. But like. When he does that, leaning from the horse, I was like, that is the cleanest looking fucking thing that's been dragged through the dirt yeah, in the well, world. They, when they were showing them play it, it, it looks <laughs> like a dirty dead goat. But when yeah. you picked it up, it looks like a stuffed sheep. It was a exactly. pillow. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sheeple. But this guy, There's the guy a tabletop version over. of this, by the way. It's called Fuzzball instead of Foosball. <laughs> not very popular. The guy, yeah, you, every time you hit the ball, it just stops rolling. <laughs> <it's not> <laughs> um, the guy that calls him over and wants him to play the game with them, is Afghani Jake Johnson. I was, I was like, that what? is Jake Johnson on that horse. The guy that was up on top of the horse, the sexy the, dude, that's, the, Af- that's Afghani Billy Zane. I thought he looked exactly like Jake Johnson. He was gorgeous. And Jake <laughs> Johnson's also gorgeous. I love him. Yeah, Jake Johnson is, is Lex, less sexy Oscar Isaac, and this guy <laughs> is equally sexy Jake Man, Johnson. Man, I saw Billy Zane in it, but maybe that's just because I want to see Billy Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I look, I see Billy Zane. Lucky. I hey, think... it's me on TV again. That's not you. That's While they're Bruce doing Willis. this, oh. the what you call, goat polo, yeah. there's, goat somebody polo. gets hit and falls off a horse. Like It happens a couple times. People, I thought I heard a Wilhelm scream, but it was cut off quickly. Ooh, and I, and I was out. actually listening. I was like, this this doesn't have Wilhelm screams in no. this series yet. I haven't oh, heard any, but the... the, 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 ah! the yeah, nah, and one know. guy got knocked off a horse, and I heard like a, ah! but I don't know if it was <laughs> Wilhelm scream or if it was just that guy. Falling that guy off a horse. actually made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, the so stunts were performed by we're f- people who do stunts. <laughs> <laughs> we're forty-five minutes into this movie, and we finally get our first actual action scene. Here come the Aside fucking... Aside from the stick battle. Okay. Here come the, war, the warbirds, man. Yeah, the warbirds come over before Rambo gets to score a point, which is very annoying. He should have scored the point and been celebrating when they attacked. Because he's a natural at everything, like yeah. goat polo. He's better at goat polo than these guys. They've been he playing knows their whole life. Exactly. how to win. <laughs> That's it. He knows how to I win. I love the guys... Will the, not lose. John Bernthal guy is explaining the rules, and he's like, you pick up the goat, you go in a circle, you drop it in, the, in, Why? The, in yeah. one of the rings. Why? Because that's how you get a point, duh. Because it's there. There's so many of those sarcastic things. Like it's the same as the it makes blue light. It makes, it, yeah. You it drop it in the circle. Blue. Why? Because. All right. To score a point. It, it, like, it, that's it. It gives us something that's to it. care about other than the war going on. Honestly. I want to say it's like a football reference. It's like, hey, enjoy it's football like while the war is going on. When he says it's a lot like football, and he's like, I don't know football. Do you play it with your feet? Uh, not, not really. really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I wish goat polo was in the Olympics. Oh, right? man. I, so does Afghanistan. <laughs> well, see, that's how I was thinking. As soon as like, he's like asking about the rules, I was like, it's going to be one of those things. This is what you have to do. Everything else is just fucking fair game. <laughs> like whip them with the I mean, reins. It it's literally they just beat the shit out of each yeah, other, knock yeah, the guy yeah. horse and trample him. It's like pigskin for the Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're playing rugby, except for the rug on horses. <laughs> it hasn't been made a rug yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they make the rug for rugby. Yeah. There's rugs in rugby, right? Yeah, sure. That's why it's yeah, called absolutely. Rugby. You got to wrap them in a rug real tight. That's how you tackle them. <laughs> it's like football on carpet. <laughs> Take um, this snuggle <laughs> slut. <laughs> So, yeah, they attack, and they basically, the Russians just wipe out all these dudes. Man, woman, child, and goat. Rambo <laughs> does get up to the mounted gun, and, like, I think he takes out one helicopter, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but then he runs away. Yeah. But, like, that's really... Oh, it, like, it does not run away. The oh. helicopters don't run. No, no, he runs away. <laughs> okay, the, good. Rambo. Thank God. Like, he takes the helicopter out, and then he runs, and they, they blow up the... the station where it is you know i'm already terrified of helicopters so if you tell me they can run <laughs> i am in, i'm not sleeping tonight you ever seen that thing uh, i've seen online where it's like what if frogs ran instead of hop and, like you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you just hear like plat, 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 oh, and you turn man. around and it's just a frog running at you full speed <laughs> like long strides too that's terrifying yeah that is 
That yeah. is nothing to do with this movie, but <laughs> uh, so most of these people are dead. There was, I think he, I think John Bernthal mentioned there was like a hundred of them, and like there's probably fifteen left after this. Yeah. Uh, these don't count towards the kill count, not because they're <laughs> Afghanistan, because, because, because it wasn't Rambo. Rambo. <laughs> I, I, there's whole other numbers for the Jeez. number of people killed total, but I only want to count Rambo kills because yeah. he's not a villain. <laughs> it's about him. <laughs> Everybody he kills in the war, he's it. not a part of. Yeah, and then that's this is when they're like, "Hey, you should go. Like, you don't need to be here. This isn't your war." And he's like, oh, "It is no." I know it wasn't 20 minutes ago because I said this isn't my war. I was happy playing goat polo, and then you <laughs> shot the Russians shot a bunch of fucking people. Now I need to get something They back. taught me how to play goat polo. That's friendship for life. <laughs> Where I come from, goat polo means something. I live my <laughs> life one goat polo at a time. Wait, that's a different guy that talks Goat like polo that. is everything, just like family. <laughs> <laughs> Firmly. Oh, so is Vin Diesel just deeper? I know we talked about Vin <laughs> Diesel last episode. Is he just deeper voiced Rambo? It's because Rambo's got I'm half sorry, that. sorry, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone has half that face paralyzed. Yeah. Vin Diesel well, has was, his personality paralyzed. I, I, I think I may have mentioned it in the first Blood episode, I don't. I, but he was born with some kind of nerve thing yes absolutely which is why his mouth doesn't move right he didn't have like a stroke or anything but like, no so he shouldn't be making fun of him but you know it's Who right in the, it's right in the title now? stallone stallone well, that's why he talks like that he's partially paralyzed from like some kind of nerve thing that he was born with that's why he does like this but but it's made him like who he is besides him being a fucking rocked up monster yeah his way of speaking has been defining i think it made it like his because rocky came before rambo and i think it maybe helped make his character more of like a relatable because he's like a normal dude he's got yeah. flaws and like whatever and it, and you know in the later it's kind of like oh he's a little punch drunk yeah which i'm sure happens yep <laughs> um I don't know, but I know it's not his fault, but it's in the title of the podcast, guys. Worst people. Yeah. The subtitle, assholes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want us to get you want to get like a healthy dialogue about uh, nerve damage? No, you came to the wrong fucking podcast. <laughs> get away from me, Strokey. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> It's like gold member, except for some of them always like strokey, 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 strokey. <laughs> Just don't mention the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't mention his stroke face. Uh, good strokey, Mr. Strokey. <laughs> Playing golf today. That was three strokes behind. Oh, nope. Uh, I was swimming in the pool. I did the breaststroke. No. Nope. Ah. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was by myself. So no, 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 I decided man. to stroke. <laughs> no. Stroke it on the mountain. Oh, he just likes a good plate of stroking off, you know. <laughs> ah, stroking Who doesn't off like so stroking good. off? <laughs> so they <laughs> move forward with this. He's going to break into the camp to try to rescue Troutman, and he's crawling. They're army crawling. I guess special forces crawling through the minefield, and he's using his knife, which I was like, okay, kind of cool. Like he's Old dulling school. it, but like he's if pushing you it through know, the dirt. If you know what kind of mine this is, it can actually work. Yeah, and then so he and he finds the mine, and he like pops it out of the way. And then that's apparently the only mine. This minefield had one mine. Because after this, they just run around. Yeah, it was a death trap. The whole I think. I, I think we're too. supposed to believe it's not done well. We're <laughs> supposed to believe that he made one linear path and it had one mine, and he knew exactly where that was for the way back. <laughs> yeah, because they just get there and then they run to get out of the light thing, and then they, like I don't know, they almost trip that wire with the grenades. Well, I love Rambo. Does it. Yeah. Rambo is great. He Rambo's rotund frame gets under that easily, <laughs> and this skinny. He went on his back so he could keep an eye on it and his friend was like let me crawl through here with my round cheeks Ugh, you, you don't <laughs> you think this guy's round cheeks are bigger than stallone's pecs you're wrong <laughs> guys got asses yeah, for see, breasts stallone has hey. control over it he could suck in his pecs <laughs> like his stomach he's like flex him and keep him tight <laughs> I can but yeah he my body because what it is is the fence wire is attached to grenade pins yeah so if this guy's round cheeks would have if, if rambo wasn't there cheeks is all you would have seen left yeah, and this is when the kid shows up, and he's like, hey, I followed you anyway. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for helping. Yeah. You're great. Like, the kid sat back and was like, let's watch him crawl for a half hour through this area, stab in the dirt. We're all safe <laughs> now. This little shithead's here. Oh, he made it through. Okay, I'm going to follow. Oh, hey, I do. <laughs> hey, don't worry, guys. blow up. I mean, yay. <laughs> don't worry, guys. We'll be fine. My eight-year-old cousin's here. There's no chance I'm a liability, guys. Let's go. <laughs> and then they get to the thing, and they're like, okay, you stay here. 
outside of this camp now. Stay here. Uh, if there's an emergency, I'll make a sound like a dying giraffe. Rah. Rah. <laughs> Which, because that's exactly what this scene is, right? Yeah. In the South Park the movie, they fucking, they're crawling through the things. and <laughs> Shit, shit, the I fucking fuck, dogs. I fucking hate guard dogs. I fucking hate dogs. <laughs> and he goes around setting all these bombs as he sneaky sneaks, tip, twinkle toes <laughs> through <laughs> this place. <laughs> and giant stealth scene. <laughs> yeah. It is. It really is. And I like that he does the hanging under the tank thing, but when he lets go... That was kind of dope. It was dope, but my thing is, all these guys had to do is look back and it's over with. And I don't know or about look you... look anywhere, because when he ran out, I, I took note of that, because he runs out and he grabs it, and it's that's cool. That's he's, great. He's, 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 he's resisting the pain, which is he's awesome. He's pulling himself up but a little bit. the wide shots of this scene, you just see Stallone like... I'm hanging on a tank. And he's in the like, middle. Like, he, he drops it's himself like, in the middle like, of the courtyard. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know about you, man, but I don't think I'd ever get used to a tank driving by me. Like, even if I was in the military. So I'd always be like, huh, look at that tank. Hey, a dude just came out from under that tank. <laughs> Cape Fear. <laughs> and movie over because we shot you in the middle of fucking courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, so he does that. They see, they, he sets off a, or he sets up a bunch of bombs for 10 minutes, not 10 minutes and one second, because he hasn't seen Phantom of the Mall. No. He, well, he doesn't have <laughs> perfect timing. Well, I guess he kind of does because every time he sets it for 10 minutes, time has already gone by. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. I have, I have note of that when I'm like, the kid fucks everything up by coming in when he's trying to re- rescue Troutman but literally four seconds later all the bombs go off so they would have known he was there anyway yeah so. they start going oh, yeah but still don't give this little kid don't let don't let this little shit bag off the of the uh the well, blame he's still here. a little shit bag he's a little shit bag oh and the of course the companion guy makes a noise right he knocks a cup over mm-hmm. and if the guy like heard a noise shoots a flare in the air I'm like yep. there are 50 dudes walking around this compound <laughs> there are a lot of noises you think you heard a tink oh, oh must be someone here also you can't give all your soldiers flashlights you have to give this guy a flare on a parachute <laughs> isn't this a uh, video game thing like wasn't it like a Call of Duty this was used something? in Vietnam I, yeah but I, I, I mean you know I don't I, I, I've never been to Vietnam Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> but I just mean, I just feel like I remember doing this in video games. And these guys are very much video game characters. He shoots off the flare, and Rambo just has to hide for a minute. And these guys walk around, and they're like, oh, I didn't hear anything. Like, Hitman. And they just well, walk they, away. They were searching, <laughs> I mean. but Must have been the wind. That. They had the dogs. He had but to, it's like, like, hide It's like Hitman or Assassin's Creed. He's, like, waiting, and he's like, okay, the map turned green again. It's, Sky- <laughs> it's, it's, it's Skyrim. <laughs> it's Skyrim when you shoot somebody, and all of a sudden they're like, what was that? And they look for you and like, oh, it must be the wind. Your friend is laying in front of you with an arrow in his okay, head. Okay, so in that aspect, the flare did end up bringing the tanks and shit into the camp. Well, the, the tanks were already coming through, right? Or no, they were getting ready to come. But that's not why they came. The fl- I think they were moving the tanks anyway. I think the flare was because he heard a noise and these guys were searching. I just It, it struck me as very video gamey because the guys look around and they meet each other and they go like left Hello? and right. And they're like, well... <laughs> Must have been the wind. <laughs> uh, back you to your shit, you back to your spawn position. I'm yeah, going yeah. to mine. Go back to the part where they know you're going to be in the map, so they can plan their attack. Uh, and he sneaks into the basement. Thing. The Rambo you're looking for is in another castle. <laughs> it works for me in that other game. Why wouldn't it work for him? <laughs> I mean, I guess this is an old. This would be an old game, right? This right. is Super Nintendo or no regular Nintendo, right? Yeah, this would be NES. Game, yeah. I played a Rambo game on the Amiga that was pretty... There was an arcade one. You had to one. stab people, and then you'd see blood, and they... Ah, but it was, like, top-down. It was Was it good. more like this? There was a Rambo <laughs> arcade game where the control was... Like, like, it was an Uzi. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to imagine it was number three, but it could have been number two as well. I would love one where it's, like, you got a gun and a knife as the controllers, <laughs> and the knife is just, like, a joystick that goes back and forth, but oh, you just slide man. it forward to stab dudes. VR headset. <laughs> there needs to be a Rambo thing. Um, so he takes these keys. He goes to <laughs> ask some prisoners, hey, where's the American? And they're like, oh, over there. So he takes the keys and leaves all the other prisoners, <laughs> which he does end up saving them. But at this point, he's like, I'm going to go get my friend. Thanks, guys. Bye. First things yeah. first, white people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> American. Um, you see an American. <laughs> it, it's So I, w- I just want to bring it back. American. <laughs> that way. <laughs> I just want to bring it back real quick because the uh, the main Russian guy goes to Krenna's cell. He's like, you ready to talk now? He hasn't done a thing to him. Like, yeah. why would he ready to be talk? Like, he's just, he hasn't been electrocuted. His pants are still on. You're not giving him ball <laughs> torture. Like, you're ready to talk now. So then when Rambo gets there, I laugh again because he's like, hey, can you walk? Like, yeah, I'm actually being treated pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah, well. You bet I can. You bet I can. I, can you move? I've, I've got this really cushy bed in here. <laughs> They've got room service. I Dude, don't... they haven't been giving the most delightful champagne crackers. If there's a, it is there's not... a wet bar <laughs> and it's free. Can you walk? Yeah. Do you want a scotch for the road? Can you walk? I can't. 
but not from torture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little in the bag Let me here. put down my sixth martini, and we'll see. <laughs> Have you been drinking? I'm not drunk. <laughs> Time to go upstairs and start my shift. Um, <laughs> Time to go upstairs and start a revolution. <laughs> uh, so the kid shows up, and you know Rambo turns around, and that's why he doesn't get the the cell unlocked, Colonel. and he fucks everything up. Because then the soldier, the Afghani soldier, sees the kid and goes for him, and then Rambo has to start fighting him, and that's when they all start flooding in. He and gives a death gasp and when the knife hits him, gives him a death gasp, and he has to shoot his gun off. It's like, oh, you fucker! Ram- yeah. Rambo was prepared to throw a knife. In that kid's head, and they I still think he should have. Kid, <laughs> I still think I'm he should have. <laughs> uh, you know. Speaking of that kid getting hit, though, during this shootout when they're trying to get out, this kid gets shot, and it is the funniest thing I've <laughs> seen in any of these movies. Because the kid is standing there, and it's the kid actor, I assume, because it looks like a kid, and he's like, he's st- not not a stunt man, I mean, and he's standing there, and <laughs> he, like, baby. he gets shot, and he goes. <laughs> and like straightens up like a board and just falls backward, and I was laughing. You know why? Because at that age, that's the most pain that kid's ever felt. <laughs> like, hey, pretend like it's agonizing. Oh, I can do agonizing. Ha! Ah! Eek! Eek! <laughs> pretend you're an eight-year-old getting shot in the foot. Like, Gasp! <laughs> so they go into the, he takes this kid with a hole in his leg into a sewer. <laughs> that was escape. a great idea. Oh yeah, and, and I think the, at this the point, the other Russian didn't have the word for it or whatever. Yeah, the Russian who was helping him, the, the defector. defector. He's like, where they send the bad water. I expected, <laughs> I expected more of the defector. Yeah, me ways. too. Oh yeah, that dude gets rocked immediately when those helicopters yeah. show up. I think that was uh, uh, fake David Harbor was like that guy. We know where he's at. <laughs> the hot one. <laughs> the hot one. Uh, but Rambo at this point has a big piece of wood. Coming out of his uh, side. Oh, what was because the explosion? Yeah, because the, like the large, the large Russian has his gun has one of these little uh, I don't know, it's like an M seventy grenade launcher <laughs> on it, and yeah, the noob he, tube. He blasts <laughs> something. So now you've got little kid shot in the leg, and you've got John Rambo with wood sticking out of him, just jumping into sewer water. Yeah, there are infections aplenty. And he like RPGs this truck, which I thought he was going to get the guard tower because they're shooting at him. Mm-hmm. But it's smart. He hits the truck, and the truck is coming out of the base, so it's blocking the exit now. Got yourself a but choke point, baby. But giant dude can, is just like, whoop, flip that shit yeah. over. It was him and a couple others, but yeah. They but they were barely moving. The, <laughs> he did most of the It was mostly. Oh, I'm not <laughs> arguing that. I mean, well, like the other guys, the camera like, seemed focused on him. They're like, the hey, the guys, big guy's got it. Just pretend like you're fucking moving. One of the other guys is in the back by the bumper. I'm like, you're not getting any leverage on this truck. <laughs> this dude's in the middle where the spare tire is underneath this truck just like Hurrah! i'm doing my part ah <laughs> uh, he's a uh, you pay me well i <laughs> lift truck in the river i don't know i was doing yakov smirna <laughs> and Mavarasha truck moves you <laughs> <laughs> and this and so the uh John, david harbour goes to richard krenna and he's like who is this man who could he try to kill me and da 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 and he's like uh, you don't need to go look for him. Don't worry. He'll come and find you. And this is when we get the opening tagline for the opening line yeah. for this episode, which was... Uh, 30, you know, 30 Who do you, who, who do you think this man is? God? Yeah. And he's like, no, Manual God would God. have mercy. He won't. Rambo won't. Yeah. I thought it was funny, though, because like, how, how many people do you think he just took out in this escape? Like 30? Yeah. Maybe more? Yeah. Because I mean, I mean there was the a lot of explosions, towers, but, you with know. Two, the two truck full of soldiers. Truck, yeah, so. so it's funny because this guy says, he's like, well, one guy against 30 commandos. Like, well, he just took out at least 30 commandos. I was about to say, minimum the, 15, first, so, the yeah, first minimum couple, 15. Like, I want to say, like, he banged their head or whatever. Like, you Yeah. Know. Well, when he was trying he wasn't to be quiet, killing him at first. In, yeah. I mean, in that aspect from that first stick fight, like, it was that whole... He just all of a sudden went into his rage mode when he was fighting him. He was like breaking through his defenses, beating the guy with his stick, and then he knocks him down. And yeah, he did. Ready to go, ready to go. And he's like, all right, I've changed. Well, but if he had to kill him, he would have killed him. Oh yeah, exactly. There are people. It's like a fucking old western shootout. There are bad guys up top on the front row, on the (laughs) the top row. There's bad guys coming from the left on the bottom row, and he's just ding, 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 ding. I mean, it is. Just watch out for the innocent bystanders that pop up. You lose points for that. Oh no, not that one. That's the babysitter spraying and praying, (laughs) turning around, shooting the people behind him. That's just some old lady getting groceries. Ding, ding, (laughs) ding. I feel like the idea of playing a game. be this movie basically oh yeah well, this movie is a video game yeah. it is yeah. he leveled up so he takes the wood out like after the, the kid oh, and, yeah. and, and john so burnthal leave cool. he gives the he kid sends the him off the the guy yeah. who came 
with the horses got gunned down, of course. Like, yeah, he sends just them to extra, go to you know, red shirt shit. <laughs> like he's like, you get out of the country. So You've they done can't, enough they can't damage. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, dude, this, my this thing enough. where he takes out this wood. I mean, it looks great. Oh, dude, it looks dude. like he's really pulling wood out of his side. Again, in all these movies, the blood is an amazing color. Yeah, it looks the, like the blood. effects are like this is good. This looks like he's pulling this. He like shoves like, his finger. I was gonna into say the he, he, oh, boy. Pulled, he pulled it out first when it happened, and then when he's at the the little camp, he snapped he it made. off. When he it like, yeah, sticks he his thumb through the back and pushes it out through. Yeah, I thought at first. First, he was just putting pressure on it, and I was like, yeah. well, you're putting your thumb right yeah, now. Yeah, like, oh, what are you dude, doing? Oh. And that starts oh. shoving out the front, like, oof. I like and, then, and then he fills it with the gunpowder from He that takes bullet. the one bullet yeah. from the guy's gun, and he's just like, oh, this is all I need. And he's like, You think maybe fuck? it's like, oh, it's going to be a trap. He's, setting, he's using that gun, that bullet, yeah. that singular bullet to start. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, shit. Oh, man, he's pouring the gunpowder straight into that back wound. Yeah. Lights up the stick and what is it? Internal cartherization. Cartherization. Yeah. yeah he go. just shows that thing in there and it just fire shoots out of his front and his back. The Oof. effects are <laughs> good. Ah, that looks painful. And later on, when uh, oh. Kren is asking him about it, you okay? He, yeah, he's like, "Well, you trained. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> you trained us not to feel pain. <laughs> is it working? <laughs> not really." <laughs> Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> They're very like quippy with each other, which I'm imagining may have like come over from because that the second movie was supposed to have a sidekick and it was supposed to be funny quip lines. Uh huh. Maybe they were like, you know what? Let's use that. Like, yeah. Let's give some. I don't know because they we already got like, Krenna. Make the Colonel his sidekick. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're they're basically BFFs is. at this, this point. One? I mean, uh, Batman I don't became Robin out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so the Russians are go out to go look for Rambo. Uh, very comb the desert scene. Man, we ain't found shit. We ain't found shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like Zison or whatever his name is, the the colonel, he flies out for 14 seconds and he's like, All right, keep looking, I gotta go refuel. <laughs> Why? Kind of helicopter is this? Why did you even come? Why didn't you refuel before you took off? I mean, I guess maybe they, they are implying maybe he was flying, for a while, shooting but... people earlier. You know what? Yeah, but he then. just took. As we noticed with these other ones, with, with not the other he ones. He had to retaliate after shit happens at his four. He's just going to go mow some people down. I mean, <laughs> I drive on the sidewalk and he hit just, people. He just and killed some citizenry. As we noticed with number two, it just could be a bad edit. Yeah, just bad edit. Maybe he was out there for a bit and they're like, we don't have. Dude, we got to cut yeah, the movie yeah. short. Yeah. They they do start to torture quote unquote Troutman again quote unquote this time they just hang him <laughs> up by the arms again but I love when they're like perhaps okay. you'll answer if we tickle you <laughs> Gucci, Look, Gucci, uh, Gucci 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 your feet <laughs> deedle deedle quick bring me a feather <laughs> uh, my interrogation quick. artist the diddler <laughs> bring me the harder pillow I will hit him with that one. <laughs> Fat man and little boy. <laughs> um, he, but Troutman has this look on his face though when they're like, "We're gonna torture you." He's kind of like eyebrow up, like first time torturing, huh? <laughs> first time. <laughs> uh, you know, you should train in America. We uh, we've got this down. Just yeah. so <laughs> I don't even see any bamboo under for my nails. <laughs> Where's your uh, rollout bag that has all kinds of intimidating tools? You don't yeah, even have that. Exactly. You don't even have a fucking. Mattress spring with you a don't have an electric mattress spring. You're telling me you're telling me there's not one electric mattress spring in this whole fortress. They do pull out the flamethrower, which I was like, well, that's not torture. That's just gonna turn. Yeah, it into no, a you need critter. a much smaller like creme brulee torch. <laughs> this is for like clearing bunkers. Yeah, this is for turning this guy into a marshmallow. He's that's dead. <laughs> And, of course, Rambo gets in there and saves him because the guy is just, like, waving it around and laughing. I guess that's the torture is be scared. Yeah. In, in the aspect of this, like, how many times did Rambo jump down some hole to end up inside some place? A lot. <laughs> many. Starting at the first movie or just in this one? Oh, or just in this one, I'm thinking. I but mean, in this it, one, it makes sense. I mean, they do mention, like, oh, there's these caves we can use to get around. And, like, he jumps through a lot yeah. of caves. And as we all know from living in America for the last 22 <laughs> years, these motherfuckers have a lot of caves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a network of caves. Uh, so he gets in there. He takes down the big dude, or at least temporarily. Does he kill yeah, him? Not yet. Not no. yet. You think so? But as soon as they got down there, I was like, oh. This is when he throws do- the knife at the smoking guy who just runs yeah. away and is never yeah. seen again. Yeah. He runs right out of this movie. He's done. <laughs> He's like, oh, I did my snitching. I have no love for the Russians. I have no love for Rambo. The problem is this guy who started running off set, but he doesn't speak English. So when they yelled cut, he just kept running. <laughs> oh, is he going home? Yeah, he's, he's, done. Him. he's done. He's done. This actually, is a win for me. <laughs> they ended up finding him 
in Pakistan, even though they were filming in Israel. <laughs> he just kept running like Forrest Gump. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I really wanted to do an Afghan accent of if I was going anywhere, I was running, but it's just not in the books. <laughs> Cut all that. <laughs> yeah. It happens. What? <laughs> what? Shit. 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 That's, as, that's as much as I'm doing. I'll try another one real quick. Uh, it happens. What? Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> Jihad happens. Take well, it That needs to be it. a bumper sticker. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Um, all right. So, yeah, he gets out with Troutman and the prisoners. He does release them this time. I was like, okay, good for you, man. And I just noticed, and I don't know what the fashions were in Afghanistan in the 80s, but this lady who's following them out, the one woman, even though there would seem like there was a lot of There was of a them, bunch in the cell earlier. Um, she has a very America 80s haircut. Okay. It's very, cur- I mean, it's very similar to Rambo's, honestly. <laughs> very curly, like, poofy 80s, like, teased out kind of thing and i was like i don't think that was the fashion but i could be wrong there was a couple of times where i thought that this version of rambo looked like a rocked up Polly shore <laughs> and i just kept thinking of like him like hiding and being like what's that it's the weasel it's and you can't see weasel. him like you don't know where he's at and he snaps somebody's neck like <laughs> <laughs> i'm out buddy <laughs> God, I would love to see a rocked up Polly Shore. Hey, we's in the juice. Fight for his country. <laughs> That's how he got so big. He was we's in the juice. We's too much juice. We's in the juice. I'm surprised I have three daughters. I we's so much juice. Uh, can we call Cut and Munch on some grindage? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> All I can think of is Leaning Tower of Cheese. <laughs> Leaning Tower of Cheese. <laughs> Uh, no, Stallone didn't eat that much cheese. Did you see? There was no fat on his nah, body. I'm Dude. Goofy movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there's a lot of people in this movie though that needed sunscreen during filming. Yeah. Like there's a lot of really red and um, unintentionally like burnt. But you you mentioned that Stallone is like leather looking early on, but <laughs> oh, towards yeah. the end of this movie, he's bright red. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's he what did I'm mention saying. Like that- he starts the stick fight pretty red and does not get less red. In a behind-the-scenes thing, he was talking about how some of the days when they were filming, and I'm assuming this, this is when they were in Arizona, <laughs> it would get up to like 120 degrees out where they were, and like Yikes. film literally started melting in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're not supposed to film in Arizona in the hey, summer. Hey, hey. You, you, you keep that to yourself. We used to have a booming film industry until we stopped giving tax breaks. tax breaks. <laughs> so Rambo is getting out with Troutman and the prisoners. And they see the the colonel guy's helicopter sitting there, and they're both eyeballing it. And Troutman's like, "Hey, can you fly that thing?" He's like, "It's time to find out." No, it's not. No, it is not time to find out. John Rambo, look me in the eyes right now. Can you fucking fly this thing or not? Because <laughs> guess what? If we get up there and you can't fly it, we're dead. The movie's over, pal. Uh, you can figure well, it I mean, out. It's just know. a helicopter. I always think of uh, me, myself, and Irene. I, have, I can't fly a helicopter. It's just lift versus drag for rotation, motherfucker. <laughs> it's the three genius kids. <laughs> I thought you knew German. I can speak German. I can't, I can't read, read the German. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, my next note is blood mist, which I know was discussed in the last movie, too. Um, I think because now we have Rambo, or is it with Troutman? I think Troutman's Some, using the mounted gun. He's right? using the side mounted gun. I think Rambo has access to a front mounted yeah. gun. Somebody's mystifying these people. Yeah, they're they're either way they're spraying these Russian soldiers or Afghani soldiers, whoever it is, running out. And it's no, just, it's the Russians. They're spraying the fuck out of Russians. Oh yeah, because Russians are the bad guys. Yeah, right? but they have got locals working with them too, don't they? Not by okay, will. So wait, 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 Rambo's like, avoiding them. So they, He's got auto plot. <laughs> they start flying <laughs> off armor. in the chopper, and then they like shoot the chopper down. And he, you know, he crashes it. Yeah, this chopper immediately starts going down. But between here and there, there was blood mist. I don't know. All I know is, based <laughs> on this movie, someone got blasted with a big ass gun, and there uh-huh. was a mist that was red. And I love it. Always love it. This is it's explosion after explosion. <laughs> I mean, it is great. It is fast, and it's very much like the second movie where the helicopter gets shot and he's going down. But in this case. He actually goes down, yeah. like Patrick was saying. Yeah, last one was all, helicopter prank. All I could think was, he's like, hey, we're going down. And I was like, it's not flying, it's falling with style. With, with style. <laughs> you, you gotta go over the top. You gotta uh, go over the top. To infinity and Hold beyond. Up, let me turn my bandana backwards. I'll get this going. <laughs> Uh-oh. He turned it backwards, guys. <laughs> he adjusted his grip. <laughs> he did that with Rambo too. He adjusted his grip on the microphone. <laughs> he went over the top on that guy. <laughs> but I think we're about to get to one of Patrick's favorite things was Rambo jumping into a hole. 
One of many. <laughs> he jumps into another hole. At least one more. Maybe it was two. like a crevice yeah. at that point because what he sent the oh when the, the chopper survive. I'm going to use chopper survivors. Well, he <laughs> sends them away, and then him and the colonel like we jump down in some hole, you know, to get away from the other chopper. Well, they're saying they got to go north northeast or whatever because that's what the other the guy said. That's what John Bernthal said. That's yeah. where Pakistan is, and they turn and it's just a horde. Of tanks and soldiers and trucks and Wait, then the not fucking yet, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. that's, that's when they jump in the crevice. That's the very end. That's this the is... crevice. But before that, okay, like he crevice. sends he sends the survivors <laughs> off. Crevaz. Crevaz. <laughs> I drink some Fancy. nice crevazier. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, you're right. But because I have the bad fake explosion. This is where he repels into the hole. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like the chopper shows. And up. by the way, when the Colonel chopper... already found the thing, and that's when uh. His magical bow out of his ass comes oh, into play yeah, and he yeah. takes out a chopper bow. with it. And my note is that would have been helpful earlier. Like, yeah, like what information I could have used yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we see into the camp because it's silent. You know, you pull it yeah. back and it goes pew. It's like very silent. <laughs> this uh, one, it is silent. This helicopter that shows up, though, if you notice, that first explosion was super close to the helicopter. Like they shot and hit. The, uh, like a mountain in front of them like oh shit yeah. that was well and all these explosions are happening and like the helicopter is flying I think it's either now or later I, it's all kind of blending together because mm. I watched two Rambo movies in a row yeah but like when the helicopter the explosion goes off you see the swirl uh -huh. from the helicopters like, I believe lake. that's I believe that's right here yeah the, but like the, you said it's two Rambos in a row yeah I'm not complaining <laughs> it's a lot of Rambo <laughs> it's not like a lot of Michael uh, Bay we'll never do that again experiencing some deja vu or something out of this I mean you know what let's just for the Michael for the Michael Bay next next year let's just start recording them now and we'll just do one every two months and then we'll just put we them gotta out space in them shits out real good man <laughs> Fuck. but yeah I don't remember exactly what happens he's he goes he's like throws a grenade or something happens and he Repels into this hole and the explosion goes off at the top. Or a guy shoots. This is one of our napalm. This is one of our oh. favorite our, 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 from the last one. It's like the depth charge for the Earth. Yeah, yeah it's a barrel I of napalm. It was napalm. Also, yeah, I wasn't sure what kind of bomb this was. Yeah, well, let's just call it a barrel of napalm. But yeah, he drops that, and I thought like he gets the surface. It doesn't go in the hole, obviously. Right. But I thought, what if this guy <laughs> just drops the perfect, perfect bomb and it goes down this just Lands opening right on Rambo's head? Oh, just. Game over, man. But this is really bad composite for a movie that's had a series that has had great effects when he's rappelling down and that explosion happens. And I'm just like, Ugh, that doesn't yeah, look yeah. good at all. Like, oh, I have to fat, uh, rewind a bunch just for one thing. When they're leaving that dirt ass sewer, he goes to like swing out like of the, the where the great he rips the grate off and he goes to swing out and you see visible pain in Sly Stone's face and he doesn't slide out. Like he just he swings Trains out and hangs there. I think something popped. Like as you see <laughs> real pain in this man's face, like a back went out or his shoulders went out when he was swinging. But he's not Jackie Chan, so he's not going to make a whole thing about how he <laughs> did the rest of the movie in a cast. He's yeah. Gonna hide <laughs> well, I thought back to the that the first blood where he hurts himself on the tree pretty big. Like oh, Ram yeah. S Sly Stone is going for it. Yeah, and he's doing a lot of his own stunts. Yeah. Most of them. I think he's doing, yeah, most of them. Maybe. Richard Crenna behind the scenes talked about, he's like, this guy is absolutely insane because he keeps giving himself more to do than anybody should do, and he's doing it to himself. Yeah. And it's just, like, well, like in impressive. The first, in the first movie, when he talks about how it was, like, 20 degrees or something, and Stallone's just walking around with his shirt off and just his, like, pants that he's wearing, and everybody else is wearing, like, two sets of thermal underwear and a jacket yeah. and all this stuff. Holding and he's a like, nice cup of, of coffee. Like, kind of felt like a fucking pussy because this guy's <laughs> yeah. just like, whatever, man. Hey, you know what? If you feel like a pussy because of John Rambo, don't feel bad. Yeah, you're fine. You're okay. <laughs> you're good enough. You're smart enough, and doggone it, you're not killing anybody. <laughs> you were just taught to ignore pain. Didn't really work. It's not working. <laughs> Uh, another one of those things comes up here because uh, Troutman's like, hey, John, I'm sorry I got you into this. And he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so now a bunch where, of great where are one -liners. we? Uh, in the cave, and now the commandos are coming down, Maming right? Maiming Montage 3.0, the third Maiming Montage in a row where these guys are in the cave and he's sneaking around in the shadows. A lot more cartoonish and funny in this one. Yeah. He like pops out of the shadows and looks and runs back <laughs> in. <laughs> Like and the, he's got the Yahoo! bow, and he's like picking dudes off. Yep. And this is where the blue light the comes blue back. Light, yep. He he straps oh, it to one it, of the yeah. arrows, and he shoots one of the guys, and it hits the guy, and he screams, and all the other soldiers just see a light, so they just the start blasting yeah. this dude. And then uh, 
back to the blue light again, he attaches at one point to a grenade on a string. So one of the Russian oh, guys walks by, he's like, what yeah. the fuck is this blue light? Pulls the pin out of the grenade. <laughs> That's Kablu. the blue light special. That, Curiosity that, killed that the comrade. you were trying to use against me earlier? Glow stick. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it's the blue light special, man. And it's like, I think he says, somebody says something about like, who are you or who is this or something like Raved that. Your the worst grave. nightmare. Uh, wait a minute. You're a, my penis with two heads that look like snakes? <laughs> oh, it's when he takes the guy's walkie talkie. Because yeah, uh, yeah. the general or the colonel or whoever is trying to call, and he's like, are you listening? And the guy's like, who is this? Or, sorry, who is this? I don't know. Who is this? Who is this? Your worst nightmare. Wait, my worst nightmare is like my teeth falling out of my mouth like it's a fucking <laughs> slot machine at well, a it's casino. Like I fall, and I never hit the ground. I just keep falling. <laughs> or I go up, and I keep how, going up. How do oh. I keep getting up on these high ledges where I know I can fall, and why am I I'm up here? your worst nightmare. Those You're my ideas. father leaving? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going for a pack of cigarettes. I just got done dealing with that. He's going for more smokes. <laughs> and uh, Krenna saves him here. He shoots a soldier that's about to kill him. He's like, yeah, it's good timing. Back to what good squid work, for? too, though, because it fucking shreds this dude from... He shoots him from behind, and we yeah. see it just all pop out the front. And then we see how Stallone was really good, or Rambo, at least, was really good in high school and gym class because he climbs this rope like a fucking champ. Okay, there's a trick to climbing a rope where you're supposed to use your foot and like wrap it around the rope. It, this is and then just step on it to yeah. hold yourself. And he play. is the exact opposite. He's got his legs kicked out like uh, where we're going. We don't all, need legs and just restraint. fucking beasts rah, himself. Rah, rah. Like yeah. you just said, perfect in gym mm-hmm. class. He just you beasts himself. This strength? fucking road need rope, legs. dude. Amazing. Yeah, he, he doesn't need legs. No, he doesn't. The top half of this guy's body has as much muscle as a normal human being has in their entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you don't need legs. <laughs> Lieutenant Rambo, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> I'd pay to watch Rambo and Forrest Gump have any sort of conversation. <laughs> I was in the war. It jumped up and bit me. <laughs> Must have drank about 13 Dr. Peppers. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, man? The fuck is Dr. Pepper? <laughs> so he gets up to the top, and the big dude is waiting for him, and we get like a big guy wrestling scene, right? Big gay wrestling. They they are just rolling around, grabbing each like it's, it's literally like like a real like Olympic like wrestling. Yeah, just on the ground doing holds like and Greco Roman wrestling. Yep. And this 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 big guy actually, I mean, he's a big fucking guy next to Sly Stone. Yeah. yeah. He's a big fucking guy. <laughs> He's like, Sly Stone, I want to say, is like 5'10", 5'11", and yacked. Yeah. Like, just absolutely. And this guy looks bigger by a bunch. Well, this guy is over six foot, and he's he's much heavier, but yeah. not in a fat guy way. Yeah. He's he's like he's not as as defined as Stallone, but that's still mostly muscle. It's just coated in a layer. He's of a fat. Russian bear doing yeah. doing one of those strongman contests before it became a thing. That's yeah. right. Yeah, he's got to picking up Stone's body. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like I'm just picking up rocks for fun at this point. I mean, yeah. How much does, do you lift? I don't know. Like fucking forty stones a day. Five I boulders, <laughs> literally stones. Not, yeah, not the weight. He literally picks up Stallone. It's insane. Yeah. Um. But when he he beats him, he's just right wrapping the rope around his neck, trying to choke him out or whatever. You think that's it? And he, yeah, and he flips him into. The, it's great because it's like such overkill. He like flips him into this cave, or he he pulls the 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 pin off well, the grenade. Big old guy's yeah, got a bear hug, and he's yeah, crushing yeah, his exactly. spine. He's trying to go Bane on Batman on this fucking. Yeah, exactly. Bang, uh, Bane, Zangief, whatever. Yeah, Zangief. Oh, oh, much that better. Zangief, Zangief hug. Yeah, Zangief is much better. Yes, and it's Russian, so. There you go. <laughs> well, well played, sir. But it's great because I saw it coming. I was like, okay, because they show the grenade, so he's gonna pull yeah. the pin. He's but struggling he to pull it, it too. He's like, I can't he's about reach to pass it. out and shit. When he pulls it. The guy lets Stallone go, like, oh, I'm surprised. Why? No, you didn't no, let him go. You're trying to Stubborn get him Russian, off. you hold him, like, yeah. all right, we're going, dude. But he lets him go, and Stallone basically kicks him into the hole. And we let we they let this guy fall far enough to snap his neck and die, <laughs> and then get then exploded. exploded. He yeah. gets hung, then blown, and I know a <laughs> lot of people that would pay for that <laughs> in a different context. <laughs> It's all and, about context. And this <laughs> is where we context. get the, the the tank assault thing because Krenna, <laughs> Krenna is like, well, we did it, John. And then you just hear... And I've seen this movie a lot. It's just been a couple years maybe. And I'm just like, how do they get out of this? You have two people with guns oh, well, surrounded by tanks. Horse army. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh a la Ex Machina. <laughs> Templar Nice is showing up after but, they oh, get their arms shipment. Yeah. Oh, 
They were all waiting at the border. Yeah, you, you say the Templar, but on the other hill is the Magi from the mummy watching because the Russians are the great evil. <laughs> Let's get all the horse warriors in here, man. <laughs> but Guys, back to your quippiness that you talked about where it was like very buddy between him yeah. and Colonel. Uh, what, what does he say? He's like, sorry, I got you into this. Well, th- this part, he's like, well, John, you got any ideas? And he looks and there's a hundred dudes and he's like, well, surrounding him's out of the question. Yeah. And this one he goes, not really the time for humor. What John. a weird yeah. time for humor or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, hell of a time for humor. And like, you guys have been quipping for the last 25 yeah, minutes. Why stop now? <laughs> you you die the way you live, That's sir. I was say, are you really afraid of dying since <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I heard John Rambo is coming and you're like, eh, my spirits are lifted. And I, I think he's like, What's the plan or whatever? And he just says, oh, "Fuck them, fuck them," and they just go start fucking firing. And then a helicopter the picks him up, way. and they go He's back to the... Murdoch. Oh wait, no, 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 that's the second one. Sorry. <laughs> He's got the what did you call it? the noob tube? The right? noob He's tube, got yeah. the fucking rocket propeller. Oh, it is yeah, it is the noob tube. And he's blasting these, but he's like shooting at the dumbest shit. He's shooting he's out trucks. Up, like, like convoy shoot at the trucks. Tanks. No, yeah. because the ta- it's not going to do anything to the tank. That's and I'll fair. tell you how you know shoot that the helicopter. I'll tell you. Wait, yeah. But I'll tell you how you know it doesn't do anything to the tank. This tank can take out a helicopter in a chicken fight. Well, it, <laughs> they do have Jousting. that. You can't shoot the tank yet. Again, going back to a video game, or the helicopter yet. <laughs> going back to a video game, the big boss is there, but you can't actually damage him He's yet. He's got an right. immune yeah. shield. This yeah. helicopter is in an immune phase right now. Yeah. You, you got to take, take out, out the, the minions. Guys. All right, I don't know how. Who's you know, on ad age aspect. <laughs> Who played the original Bionic Commando? Oh, I know that name, but the I can't Bionic picture Man? that game. Bionic Commando. You had like a grappling hook, like extension oh, arm. Oh, the you game? couldn't jump, no, but you use the, the. That the sounds very familiar. It was one of those bosses where you had to shoot your arm, swing out, jump down, and you had one chance to shoot into the fucking cockpit with a bazooka <laughs> to kill I the boss. Hate sounds that. like a way exactly. to steal quarters. I hate those. that. Nope, didn't time it right. Nope, didn't time it right. Damn it, didn't time it right. Another quarter. <laughs> like, uh. Damn it, didn't time it right. Another quarter. I. Break this 20. <laughs> but that's it, though. I'm done after this. The arcade game just goes full Vegas vacation. How about you give me half the money you were going to play? We go outside, I kick in the nuts. We call it a day. Uh, so Rambo has a Molotov cocktail, and he's like riding a horse, I think, right? Yep. Because uh, the horse army has shown up. Because what, ca- what you're calling sexy Nick Miller uh, and, and the horse, the, 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 500 horsemen of the apocalypse, if you will, <laughs> they all come riding in and save the day. Yeah. Which at first, it, to me, it looked like the Russian army is running. And I'm like, why are you scared of these horsemen? Like Turn around and fight. And I was like, oh, the- shit, they are. It's like that scene at the end of uh, uh, Two Towers, right? Where like they're about to lose and then the, they look the into horsemen the- show up on the, uh-huh. the ridge. It's the same thing. Rohirrim. Yeah. Riders of Rodan. Yeah. Rodan, yes. The yes. Rohirrim. Is that what they're called? Yeah. All right. All I remember the horse is lords. the fact that, like, as soon as the cavalry started coming over the hill, like, they, like, stopped focusing on John Rambo, the one guy they've been wanting to get the whole time. They literally, like, turned their backs on him yeah. to deal with the horse people. You well, think, you I mean, think you at least over, the... Well, not overwhelming, but the you have chuds. a larger force <laughs> coming from another direction. Did you just call them chuds? I think so. <laughs> but you, <laughs> to Patrick's point, you think at least this main general would be like, all right, they're dealing with the horse lords. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take care of John Rambo and the ring. If you want something done right, <laughs> you got to do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Rambo, he's like, my precious. Give it to me. But he's got this Molotov cocktail, which is, I guess you know, poignant, right? He's fighting the Russians. Goat polo skills, and he like drops it off. Yeah, it's the goat polo <laughs> coming back, right? Day we set it up. Or, uh, goat polo's Putin's <laughs> pistol <Yeah>. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Goat polo's gun. You, you're trying so hard gun, not to do the word, alliteration the the word that it actually. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Is we've done so much alliteration with it, I couldn't think of the word gun because I was like, <laughs> gun doesn't. Even though it him. actually alliterates. But he like drops it and falls off the horse and it doesn't explode and then he's able yeah. to pick it up. I'm like, this thing is burning for a really long time. Oh yeah. Um, but he ends up throwing that and then we get the into a tank, right? And that's how he takes the tank because he like throws it and it. So this Molotov cocktail takes out one of the dudes in the tank and then he gets the other guy that's in there. But then when they're blasting rockets at the tank, it doesn't do anything to it. Not him. at all. He's fine. It hurts him a little bit. Like it makes the rhino shake. But we have to, we're at the rhino part of Ace and Church. This, 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 coming is, out your anus, you're this is the final battle. This is tank v. helicopter. It's gotta have these rhinos. <laughs> and 
<laughs> it gets to come back from the second one, and you'll appreciate this, Patrick, because he's in the tank, and he's doing all the controls right, and he starts firing the machine gun at the helicopter, and he goes, ah! What, you never fired your tank in the air and gone, ah? You never fired your tank in the air and went, ah! <laughs> I was thinking more of the interview. I get like this tank. <laughs> yeah, Baby, shit. you're a fire. Sounds like work. a lot of paperwork. <laughs> So the the tank and the helicopter, like this guy doesn't pull out of chicken and they just basically collide. Well, I think... I think oh, he does do, get shot. Yeah, I was going right, to say, okay, we, yeah, he, right he probably would have pulled up because you're real dumb, but you're real dumbo. Dude, he's already yeah. flying if you're like just, fucking five feet no, up he does, Yeah, he does. A you're taking away every was, advantage of having a helicopter by being like, well, let me get on his... No, you stand above him. The where hell, like, a tank can't shoot straight up. <laughs> just like George Cosmato said in the second one, the director... The helicopters look cooler when they're low to the ground, which is true. On visually, for a film, it looks cooler. The, right? Yes, That's... the the scene that I've seen in many video games that was in this was that straight on. You just see the helicopter come straight up over. Oh yeah, behind and, a cliff. every action movie and yeah. like. I agree, it looks cool on the low ground, but like, man, you're. Why are you even have a helicopter? But yeah, he does. He shoots the the pilot, and then he shoots the colonel. Troutman's Colonel, yelling, he's like, get out of there! And yeah, I, yeah Troutman took a bullet roll, roll, to the shoulder. They crash into each other. Oh, yeah, he gets shot by the helicopter. Yeah, but he's fine. You know right away. He, he gets right up, yeah. dusts himself off, so you're, you know he's fine. And they collide, and it's like, oh, my God, is Rambo dead, you guys? There's there's not two more of these. And <laughs> Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not for another 20 years. Not yet, 20 um, years. 20? 30? No, 20. 88 to 08. Yes, 20. Uh, but it... Yeah, they yeah. have the shot of Rambo, and he's like, looks unconscious, but he's fine. He's not blown to bits or anything. He's got a little bit of blood on him. Yeah, kind of walks helicopter over, explode on his face, I mean, and he climbs out, and he's fine. And we get the triumphant. I was music. hoping he would lay there. Crin would walk over, and he just look at him like, "You all right?" Eyes closed. Did it look cool? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, that that no pain training still isn't working. <laughs> Senka, you dead man. You know, no Crin about it. <laughs> No, this really. Well, yeah, I, I don't think we mentioned, but the horse warrior guys only knew to show up. It, it just like two towers, somebody had to leave. The right? tree Somebody was sent away. Did the tree ends. Tell I don't, the horse I don't remember. Somebody was <laughs> sent ends. away, and then. Uh, so in this, it's John Burns. Oh, you know who it was? Annoying baby kid. It's a little baby kid. Yeah, and they got sent away, and then they were the ones who went and told the horse warrior guys like, "Hey, yeah. you need help," and they just happened to. So show up little time. fucking shitbag kid turns out to be okay. Yeah, even though he, all this happened, it's mostly his fault. Yeah, we wouldn't have been here without you. <laughs> Uh, but this is when John Bernthal tells him, like, hey, you fight good for a tourist. Uh, <laughs> we're bringing it back. And the little kid's like, you want to stay with us? A lot of Russians left to kill here, dude. You get a pretty fucking <laughs> yeah, now happy they're like, life. hey, stay here. Stay here. We've seen what you yeah. can do. <laughs> and he goes through his mind a little bit. He's like, dude, I could have an endless supply of enemies. Oh, man, I could become a warlord. No. No. No, no, I better go back to America. I want to go live with some monks or whatever he ends up yeah, doing. Yeah, well... I don't know. We'll find out. I haven't seen Rambo. Fuck, I think he's period. a boatman in so, Thailand. No, just Rambo. Yeah, it, it is no, number in four. The, but in, in number four, right? right. Yeah, it's just it's called exactly, Rambo. Yeah, like I, say, I want to say that one like I have. I've, I've seen, seen it, but I saw it in theaters. Ago. But you said uh, 2008. So we are right? at the end so. of this movie, and I'm pretty upset that we didn't get A, Frank Stallone. Yeah. B, a freeze frame because the number spoiler alert patrick number two ends with so sylvester stallone's brother doing the music yeah frank, frank stallone, stallone is a and quote, it ends singer. with a freeze frame yeah <laughs> and this one ended uh, Polly in this, shore in this song i mean rambo terrible. walking away this song is terrible and it's called like he's not heavy he's my brother and i was like oh god let this be frank stallone <laughs> that's the perfect <laughs> one could you not get frank stallone was he busy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was in rehab. Um, <laughs> Valid reason to be busy, guys. Real quick, he was doing one of those TV shows where it's just celebrities talking about other. <laughs> Cele- shit he was that's doing celebrity, uh, celebrity poker, um, celebrity jack off. <laughs> I don't know, but that I don't. And again, I mentioned earlier, I don't know a lot about Middle Eastern languages. But the the guy who's in charge of the the horse army says something to Troutman when they're leaving, and Troutman responds in kind. But he says it in a very American accent. Yeah. And I swear to God, he said, oh. Angelata. Yep. And they yeah. I, I had the same thought. <laughs> like, you just didn't learn that line until today, but it sounds like Enchilada. Because I know there's like. Uh, Rock 2. Uh, I know there's like uh, um, 
what's the salam assalam alaikum and then walaikum uh, salam yes so i thought it was something along those lines but i swear to god he was just like enchilada yep. and drove away <laughs> and then yeah we get that terrible thing at the end this film is dedicated to the gallant people of afghanistan i mean this movie does not age well no. in the sense of we are still fighting over there <laughs> i mean well now we've I mean, supposedly we're not. We yeah, pulled out all of our soldiers. We just have PMCs. But we there did now. leave them with a whole bunch of equipment. <laughs> uh, Thanks, did Obama. See, did you see any of the, the know, memes not, and stuff? Awful. No, it was the other one. I know, but I still the just liked one. it even this much further later in life. I still like the oh, thing no, to Obama. Great. Yeah, it was a good one. Kind of like OK Boomer. Um, in 12 years, I'm going to say, Welcome to Biden's America. <laughs> uh, did you see the things when we pulled out all the soldiers like overnight and it was like a really oh. shit, half half ass fucking thing slipshod performance and the people had like pictures of like the embassy that had just been abandoned and they like photoshopped in a spirit Halloween banner <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah well you that's... know we have we've learned nothing yep <laughs> kind of like in this movie <laughs> this is your Vietnam so we learn from ours. movies are a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to go around again, obviously, as we do. Jack. <laughs> yeah, I recommend. I mean, it's schlocky. It's the schlockiest of them all, but you got a lot of really dope practical effects. You got a minimal story, so maybe have a couple bullets with you. Like, take some Coors lights with you and just kind of... <laughs> Um, turn that switch off in your brain. Like, just just numb a little bit. I was thinking, you used to turn that switch off, and I was thinking when Patrick was talking about playing the switch and watching TV, and I was like, no, turn the Patrick, switch off. Patrick, turn the switch off. You no, can turn it on. I mean, like, this, enjoy a good, like, thousand-yard stare into this movie anytime there's not an explosion. But Are you yeah, a tourist? Recommend. <laughs> Did you say terrorist? <laughs> Patrick? Freedom fighter. <laughs> recommend, yay, nay. If you want to shut off your brain to watch a movie. You say that at the end of every one. But now. Give me a yes time. or no. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say the aspect. You can get the same excitement from playing a video game. Like You also you, say that oh, at the end of every movie now. It's getting that way. Well, <laughs> I don't think everybody can get that excitement, though. Like, everybody yeah. sitting here can play a video game and do that. Yeah. I know plenty of people that two joysticks is too many. <laughs> if someone walked up to you and was like, I think I'm going to watch Rambo 3 today. What do you think about that? What would your response be? Have fun. All right. Close <laughs> Get <enough>. high. <laughs> I also, for me, out of what we've done so far, this is going to be my lightest recommend. Yeah. I think it's fine. I think it's it's got good action. It's It's got that going for it. I think, obviously, we've discussed that one is actually like a piece of cinema. It's a film. It's good. It's actually two. a really great movie. Uh, two two is that. a good action movie. And I think it's, I think it's better paced. I think it's got more exciting action. Um, maybe it's because this was shot where I live and I was like, well, this just looks like home. Yeah. <laughs> Including the in explosions. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know, but it's fine. But it's definitely like so far I'm ranking them as one, two, three. Yeah. So for sure. And I think it's going to go four and five after that. I don't know, man. Based on that, when the let the bodies hit the floor trailer. <laughs> Four might be jump right above three. That song's not in that movie. I know. Though. But okay. Like all right. All right. That trailer is like forty seconds, and you see a hundred people die. <laughs> That's fair. That's he's not wrong, folks. Aren't they all like Viet Cong or? Not I think Viet it's. Cong, what did we? Say? It was in Thailand. Thailand, right? Burma. Yeah. So there's some other kind of oh, yeah. army. Um, but yeah, I bet I they're soft, communists. Instead of shooting down a helicopter with a fifty cal, he just takes out people and. They had better special effects for that one. What I will say is this isn't like Laser Blast or something where I'm going to be like, avoid this like the <laughs> fucking play yeah. or, or or Rise of the Silver Surfer or any of that. Like, If you if you think you want to watch it, just watch it. Fans of action and practical effects need to watch it. Yeah. It's good. It's I mean, it's good enough. I'll just ask you a question. Explosions? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> none, of, none of that walking away from him stuff either. He was he was running through them. And oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, wasn't, away he wasn't cool enough and... to walk away from any of this. He was too busy running and jumping. He looks great in this movie. <laughs> He's terrifying in this movie. He looks great. That hair is a little too much. <laughs> Talking to me? Well, yeah, but also <laughs> Juan Rambo. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hey, did you hear about the famous picture of uh, Ronald Reagan holding up a poster that's got a picture of Rambo and it says Rambo is a Republican? Nope. That's good times. Huh. That really ages well with this movie, too. Yep. Guess that who was like responsible that. for arming the Mujahideen or Mujahideen? 
I always get the the well, at that point, is Contra you know, based off of Rambo, good, right? like the video mm-hmm. game Contra. No, that's based off of uh, Iran Contra, which oh, is a whole so other close. thing where we armed a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've done that more than once, have we? Oh yeah. No, it turns out we've been doing it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. <laughs> um, next week will be Rambo, parentheses four. And Wait, we're doing the first one? I thought it was colon. <laughs> no, it's just, there's no, it's just Rambo. Rambo, oh, okay. colon pal. Period. <laughs> colon pal. <laughs> Actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Um, and on the previous episode, Whitney had mentioned that there will be a Texas Hold'em tournament at Harbottle on July, I believe, 30th. So it's after this episode comes out. <laughs> So it's a Sunday. You can go. There's one important thing, though. You bring your own cash. They yes. can't help you. They can't hold me. Bring cash. Yes. It's it's legally. The brewery buy, can't. Uh, cash prize for first and second. Yeah. And the brewery isn't isn't providing money, isn't handling money. It's there. It's they are hosting. That's why you have to bring cash. So go check that out. And, if you, and remember, if you mention that you listen to us, you get a dollar off a pint. Um, check out Evasion. On all the places I constantly tell you to check them out. And like I said uh, last time, just go down to the moon on 4th and throw money at Patch and don't tell, tell him Tell you why. what, learn some origami, fold that money into a fun shape, give it to Patch. Yeah, there you go. I can make the frog jump. Ooh, <laughs> impressive. Uh, so that's going to be that. Oh, you know, I don't think I did this on the last episode. It doesn't really matter. Don't forget to check us out on all our social media. Go to our website, badmoviesworstpeople.com. Send your friends there. Help them find us. You know, go buy merch at T Public. Uh, you can use the link on our website to get to the merch. So check that stuff out. That's going to be all that jazz. So uh, we'll see you guys next week. Well, we won't see you. We'll see each other. And you'll hear us next week as we discuss Rambo. <laughs> so for this week, I have been Derek. I'm Jack. I'm Patrick. Uh, good night and go fuck yourself. What do you mean? I get no respect. <laughs>